It's a beautiful night for high school football in St. Francisville as the West Feliciana Saints looking for that first win of the season. Take on the Live Oak Eagles who are feeling really good heading into this week three matchup as Brett Beard's team is off to a 2-0 and start. Hello, everyone. Jeff Palermo along with my broadcast partner, Jason DeQuere. Good start to the season for Live Oak as they have already defeated Woodlawn and Ponchatoula. While for West Feliciana, two seasons removed from a state championship game, last year they had a total turnover of their roster. They finished five and six. They're off to a slow start this year. Inexperience and injuries have really hurt Coach Rob Odom's team. Yeah, that's right. When you talk to Coach Odom, he knows he has the nucleus and the talent to be a good football team, but been bit with the injury bug and now relying and trying to motivate some of those younger players to step up in key positions. For Live Oak, they are led by an LSU commitment on the defense. Defensive line, and we're looking forward to watching this young man play here tonight. That is Jalen Lee. And then Key Hawkins, seems like he's been there for seven years now. Yeah, and you start with Jalen Lee. Obviously, the LSU commitment had all the Power Five conferences looking at him. He's tremendous to watch. He's hard to slow down on that defensive front. West Feliciana is going to have to try to do that. And then Key Hawkins, just a physical smash mouth runner, really loves contact and getting yards after contact. And West Feliciana always seems like they have good skill position players and they do this season as well. Robert Smith and Nino LeMay, they're really high on this sophomore LeMay. Yeah, Coach Odom thinks he can really be the next really special athlete to come out of West Feliciana. Nino LeMay, you see his dimensions there, 5'8", 165, plays both ways, running back and safety. And then Robert Smith, also a speedster in his own right, wide receiver, safety, can really find the football. Could this be tonight? West Feliciana breaks into the win column. The Live Oak Eagles will have something to say about that. We're moments away from kickoff from this week three matchup. West Feliciana and Live Oak. This is game time on Yearview, Louisiana. Game time on your view is brought to you by Louisiana Farm Bureau Insurance. Ready to serve you with auto, homeowners, life insurance, and more. Real service, real people. ITI Technical College, your key to a better life. And by Peak Performance. At Peak Performance Physical Therapy, we treat the athlete and everyone stronger, faster, better. Check out yourview.com for in-depth high school football coverage. Hey, Joe Martin here. You've seen our commercials over the years and you may be wondering, what's in it for me? Well, ITI Technical College has been selected by Forbes Magazine as a top 32-year college. But even more than that, the reason we do this is you. Our tagline is for a better life, and we mean that for you to be able to have the life you've always dreamed about, to do the things for your family you've always dreamed about. And it can begin here where we are dedicated to your success because here at ITI, the reason we do it is you. We're here at Potna's Barbecue, Louisiana's best barbecue. I've got the owner, Gerald Hopper, and you've got mouth-watering, fall-off-the-bone ribs. Well, they're slow-cooked, I can tell you that. We smoke them every day. If we're out of ribs, it's because uh, the firewood was wet and we didn't have time to finish them off. Tim McGraw said you got the best baked beans in the world. And Tim McGraw was right. Potna's Barbecue, Louisiana's best barbecue. Stop by today for some of those slow-cooked ribs. Born at Don Moore and Sherwood Forest at I-12. Nice performance of our national anthem by the West Feliciana High School Marching Band. Let's take a look at our keys to victory in this week three matchup between Live Oak and West Feliciana. First of all, for Brett Beard's team, turnovers have been a bit of a bugaboo for 
the Eagles this season, and Coach Beard wants to stay away from that, Jason. Yeah, when you heard him on the conference call this week, he really harped on that. They need to be smart with the football, not commit so many turnovers, and win the turnover game. And then, being a former lineman himself, he loves to win the line of scrimmage on both sides of the football and be extremely physical. West Feliciana, they have had some mental mistakes out there, and Rob Odom wants to see those reduced in tonight's contest. Yeah, cut down on the mental mistakes. You can't have those, particularly against a good club, 5A club like Live Oak, and then they want to try to match Live Oak's physicality. Let's bring in the third member of our broadcast crew, Kate Adams. Kate, nice night for football. Hey, thanks, Jeff. Well, as you guys mentioned earlier, tonight's matchup features the Class 5A Live Oak Eagles against the Class 3A West Feliciana Saints. And look, the Saints are a little banged up, but Coach Odom told me this is a great opportunity for that next man up mentality. These guys have to step up tonight, and this is a good opportunity for them because once they step up and they show themselves, they've got a chance to start for the remainder of the season. Coach Odom is also very excited going up against the Eagles. He thinks this is a great matchup to get prepared for district play and also a possible playoff run. Back to you guys. Thanks, Kate. She'll be checking in throughout the game. There's the former Vanderbilt Commodore, Coach Brett Beard, who has uh, guided uh, Live Oak to the playoffs here now the last few seasons. They won their first playoff game in 2015 as a school, and then two years ago they made it to the quarterfinals. Last year they started off 4-0, and but finished 5-6. and They would not want to duplicate that this season. And West Feliciana's head football coach, Rob Odom, he is an institution here. 25 seasons at the school, his 15th season as a head coach. The Saints were state champs in 2017 when they defeated Richwood inside the Mercedes-Benz Superdome. A couple of tough losses. They lost in the final minute to East Feliciana in the season opener. And then last week, just a tough loss to Livonia, 28-7. And not only did they lose those games, but they also had some injuries. But there is a good, some good news there for West Feliciana. Aiden Holland, a yeah. senior wide receiver, he is lined up with the captains. He got hurt in the season opener. He was questionable for this game, but he is suited up. Looks like he'll play here tonight. Good group of fans have made it here to West Feliciana High School to watch this one. And Jason, we're looking forward to a good game. Um, I know West Feliciana has struggled right off the bat, but hey, they put up 28 points against a good East Feliciana team. And Live Oak is a team that if, uh, if Live Oak has got the issues with the turnovers, that could allow West Feliciana to stay in this one. Yeah, and you mentioned some of the players for West Feliciana are getting back healthy. You mentioned Aiden Holland, who's a two-way player. The interesting thing when you have this 5A, 3A matchup is West Feliciana will have to have several players go both ways. Live Oak, with the number that they carry, they won't have to do that. So you're always looking for, you know, making sure that they can uh, uh, sustain that and not get tired. West Feliciana won the toss, deferred to the second half. And Archer Pangburn is the kickoff man for West Feliciana. And our officials here for tonight's game are actually from the Shreveport Association. Greg Booth is our white hat. There's one of the returners for Live Oak. As Amar Pink is one of the men down deep, and along with Trenton O'Quinn. We will not be working or having a scoreboard here tonight. They, uh, they blew a few, so they will be keeping the game clock on the field. So that will be a bit of a challenge for us here tonight to not exactly sure how much time is left in a particular quarter. Not sure if they'll be able to get that thing cranked up by the end of this game. We hope so, but uh, if not, uh, we'll try to keep you in loop as best as we can as far as how much time is left in a particular quarter. That just means Tommy, our stat guy, he's going to have to earn his money tonight. He's going to have to help us with down and distance and everything. So uh, we're going to try to keep you as informed as possible. All right, we are almost ready for the start of week three of the high school football season. Archer Pangburn has a little squib kick here, and it is taken by one of the up men for Live Oak, and that would be Will Andropont. 
who recovers it. So great field position here for Live Oak. Their offensive coordinator is Eric LaFrance. They have a new quarterback replacing one of my favorite quarterbacks yeah, of all was time, good. Sal Polaro. And I wonder why. <laughs> but he was a good, good quarterback. And, uh, you know, quarterback Red Rosevere, as you see him, can do some different things, though, Jeff. He has completed 68% of his passes. That's very impressive. 262 yards, three touchdowns, two interceptions. Last week, he was 5 of 6 for 166 yards. And Live Oak will take over at their own 40-yard line. Key Hawkins in the backfield with him as they spread it out here with four wide receivers. Hawkins in the backfield with Rosevere, who's an outstanding baseball player as well. High snap. It's on the ground. Hawkins picks it up, and then he is demolished by about four or five St. players. Not a good start for Live Oak offensively. You have such great field position, and then you have a mistake like that, a loss of five. Aaron Spears, one of the first guys there for the Saints, along with Jackson Fazio, who had a couple of sacks last year and has a half a dozen tackles this season. And just the thing Coach Beard was talking about, luckily they did not turn it over there. Almost ball hit the ground, and Key Hawkins was able to recover it. Rose Veer will get underneath center here. Hagen Long, one of the men in motion, along with Blaze Priester. They pitch it out to Hawkins on second and 15. Not much running room for Hawkins. And he gets back to the original line of scrimmage. That will set up third and long here for Live Oak. Let's take a look at the starting lineup for Live Oak. Rhett Rosevear is the quarterback. Key Hawkins and Hagen Long in the backfield. Coach Brett Beard feels really good about his wide receivers. Byron Smith, Amar Pink. The offensive line, Caleb Bond might be the best one out of that group. The others are four seniors, Cave Gox, Ben Kalmas, Kevin Bowen, and Clayton Freno. Third down and nine here for Live Oak. Rosevere will throw over to the flat here. Long gets it, and he is close to a first down, very close. But I think he's going to be about a half a yard shy. Decision time early on here for Brett Beard. Yeah, and Hagen Long, you see him make a great catch. Good throw by Rosevere. That's all the way across the field to his running back out there in the flat. Long able to get it and turn up and very close to a first down here. Looks like for now, Live Oak is going to keep the offense on the field. Nice play there by Hagen Long, who had a 55-yard touchdown catch last week. Fourth down at long one. So it looks like Live Oak will go for it unless they decide to try to draw him off. But it, normally this is like a Key Hawkins down. And there is Key Hawkins, and he is stopped. He did not get the first down based on that spot. And a nice job by West Feliciana's defense to force the four and out. Well, you're playing a 5A school at home. You've had some struggles early in the season in the first two games. But this is how you want to start a football game. That's a great defensive series. Forces a turnover on fourth down, and you're going to get the ball right here at midfield. Watch him just fill the hole right there. Good job of tackling a very, very difficult runner in Key Hawkins. Aaron Spears, the first guy there. Good field position for this West Feliciana offense that will run the option. They've had some injuries, though, on that offensive line. Three guys have been banged up so far, but let's see what happens here with Bennett Clement. Bennett Clement, the returning starter, who threw for 690 yards last year. And they will keep it on the ground here, but not much running room. Pedro Johnson for a couple yards. Live Oak has been really tough against the run so far this season. They've only allowed, well, negative 31 rushing yards so far this season. As Damian Kapling, one of the defenders there for Live Oak that returns six starters for their defensive coordinator. And a big reason for that is you see number, big number 68 in the middle of your screen. That's the LSU commitment we talked about, Jalen Lee, and he is just difficult. I mean, he commands that defensive line. Second down and seven. Quick pass out here to Robert Smith. Smith looking to make a move, and he heads up field to about the 40-yard line, and he's about a yard short of the first down. Let's take a look at the starting lineup for the Saints. Good wide receivers, Robert Smith, Nino LeMay, Nigel Kelly, Pedro Johnson. The offensive line, the centerpiece of that O-line is Brady Smith. He's a big kid, physical, has offers from Nichols in southeastern Louisiana. 
still trying to find that identity on offense. Third down and one. Clement barking out the signals. Oh, big hit up the middle, but Clement kept it, and he's got enough for the first down. Wow, did Pedro Johnson get labeled back in the backfield, but Clement made the right decision there, and he kept it for the first down. Well, when you run the option, and West Feliciana likes to run the option, you're going to have a dummy sometimes have to take a hit and able to pick up the first down. There's the look at Live Oaks defense. Kyle Kittle and Tyler Braun are really good defensive linemen. Really good up the middle with Gabe Kimball and Brett McCoy. Darren Ricard, he runs a 4-6, a legit number one cornerback. Aiden Saunders, he's the hammer in that defensive secondary. Just a sophomore for Brett Beard's team. First down, and here is a pitch to Nino LeMay. Defended well by Live Oak, and the first guy there is Brett McCoy. A senior linebacker, the quarterback of that defense. Three tackles on the season. He also has a defensive touchdown, but Coach Brett Beard says whoever gets this guy at the next level, it'll be a steal for them. You know, he's only 5'11", 190 pounds, but really knows his football. Yeah, good job that time by sealing the edge and also had Branson McCoy out there not letting Nino LeMay make that turn and pick up positive yards. Second down. And seven, again, no clock here, so we know we're in the first quarter, early stages of it. West Feliciana on their first drive of the night in Live Oak territory. They go up the middle, Jalen Lee once again, making it difficult, but Clement keeps it and picks up a couple of yards. Well, and I can tell you, I mean, West Feliciana is not going to be able to get most of their yards running right at Jalen Lee. I know they have to keep Live Oak uh, defense honest, uh, but you're really going to see a lot of misdirection similar to the play that you saw earlier from Nino LeMay and trying to get their skill position guys free on the edges. And we have a timeout. So third down. Coming up here for West Feliciana. We'll take a break. We'll tell you how much time is left in this opening quarter when we come back. West Feliciana and Live Oak with the Saints driving. This is game time on Yearview, Louisiana. Tonight's game time keys to the game are brought to you by Visit Baton Rouge. It's not just the capital city, it's the hub of all things Louisiana. Find out more about all the Red Stick has to offer at visitbatonrouge.com. Here in Louisiana, we play to win every single game. Under John Bell Edwards, our economy ranks dead last in America. Eddie Rispone will win back lost jobs, reverse the Edwards tax hikes, and blitz trial lawyer control and corruption. Louisiana shouldn't settle for last place in anything. I'm Eddie Rispone. First is where we belong. It's time to lead the South in football and in jobs. Eddie Rispone for governor. Tonight's game time starting lineups are brought to you by Peak Performance. At Peak Performance Physical Therapy, we treat the athlete and everyone stronger, faster, better. Choose Peak. Great night for high school football. Temperatures finally cooling off a little bit. And West Feliciana trying to heat up, looking for their first win of the season. They got third down and six here on Live Oak at the 33 yard line. Bennett Clement, the senior. Good leader, game slowing down for him a little bit. Bad snap and hit off of somebody. And this is a negative play, and I think Live Oak may have it. Yeah, they do. And the Eagles do get that loose football, recovering it. That's Aiden Saunders, first turnover of the night. Looked like the snap might have hit a motion guy in the backfield. Well, I just think the quarterback had yep. tr trouble uh, uh, gathering, but I think you're right there, Jeff. 25 there coming across. Uh, and maybe interfered with the play. Yeah, that was right Kelly, face, yeah. makes, face mask. And then here's where they couldn't recover the football and just stays loose there. And Live Oak able to come up with it. Seventh turnover forced by Live Oak. And we almost start where we began, yeah. right? Live Oak started their first drive of the night from their own 40, turned it over on downs. Let's see what Rhett Rosevere does here. With another opportunity from the 40 yard line. And they'll run it right up the middle. Not much running room there. West Feliciana all over it. Maybe a yard or two, and that's about it. 
We did not get a look at the West Feliciana defense, so let's take a look at that right now. Aaron Spears has already made several plays, and Coach Odom really thinks this defense has the capability of being very good. Christian Fountain has five tackles for a loss. Okuria Anderson is your leading tackler for West Feliciana. And our Aeneas, Nino LeMay is really good in the defensive secondary. Robert Smith as well. Robert Smith already has three interceptions on the young season. Running room this time for Key Hawkins. Gets close to the first down marker. Yeah, and if you haven't seen Live Oak play, this is their style of football. Coach Beard wants to be physical. He likes to get the run game going. He loves to run off tackle with his big backs and, and really take it to the opposing defenses and try to wear them down. And that's just their style of football. Less than five minutes to go in this first quarter as we'll try to keep you updated as best as possible without a working scoreboard. Hawkins up the middle again. First first down of the game for the Live Oak Eagles who get into West Feliciana territory to the 43-yard line. And there you see it. Jason, this guy is just tough to bring down, averaging nearly five yards a carry so far this season. Despite a high ankle sprain last season, he still rushed for over 1,000 yards. Yeah, and you can see how difficult he is to bring down and really likes to run north-south, right off tackle. That's his style. You know, he's not going to try to outrun you. He's not going to try to beat you to the edge. He's going to run it right at you, and that's what Key Hawkins does. At the 43-yard line, nine-yard run there for Hawkins. Another high stamp. Rosevere now launches one over the middle of the field, and it's incomplete. Running the route there, that's C.J. Davis, a sophomore wide receiver who they think can really develop into a stud wideout before he's done here at Live Oak. Yeah, and this is where they know they need Rose Veer to develop here. Sal, Sal Palermo, as you mentioned earlier, replacing him, he was good at connecting on those throws. He had C.J. Davis, CJ Davis open there, had a few steps on his guy and just airmailed it a bit. Second down and 10. Rosevere will get underneath center. Hagen long in motion here to the near side. And they're going to roll out to the near side. Rosevere will tuck it. Makes a couple defenders miss. He's got a first down and more. To the 20, cuts it back the other way. Rosevere all the way to the seven yard line. Great run by the senior running back. Yeah, and here's where Coach Flag Beard. down, though. Yeah, here's where Coach Beard likes Rosevear at the quarterback position a little more than Palermo because uh, he can run it. He's a, he's a better runner than he is and said that they can do more things with him running the football. And that's a holding penalty against Live Oak. Wipes out a 36-yard run. There's three minutes and 48 seconds left to go in the first quarter. Yeah, and that's a big, big holding call there. Wow. As Live Oak and Rosevere was able to really pick up a bunch of yardage. So spot of the foul penalty brings it back to where they were basically. They were second down and 10 and Brett Beard has already seen a high snap. And now a big holding penalty keeping Live Oak out of the red zone. Eric France is the offensive coordinator for the Eagles. Second and 10. Rosevere calls for the snap. Another high snap, and Key Hawkins doesn't have a chance. Gobbled up right away. Christian Fountain. I ain't on the stop. Yeah, and when you have those high snaps and you're trying to run out of the shotgun, it really throws off the timing of that running play. You can see Key Hawkins had to hesitate just a little bit there because it was a high snap, and then that throws off the rhythm of that run scheme. There's Christian Fountain. Brandon Addison, number 55, was in on that stop too. West Feliciana has allowed 46 points in the first two games this season. Under three minutes to go in the first quarter. Quick pass and they got it. C.J. Davis, as that was the perfect play call for the blitz that West Feliciana was bringing. And Davis stumbles to the 25-yard line. Big first down for Live Oak on third down and long. Yeah, watch 23 come hard, missed it there, but Anderson come hard on the blitz from the linebacker position. But a great play call, as you mentioned, able to get it out quickly to C.J. Davis right from where the blitzer was coming from, and that's how you pick up the blitz and, 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 and run a good play right against it. 
Good run there by C.J. Davis. 16 yards, and early on, you could tell, Jason, why Rosevier has completed 68% of his passes coming into this ballgame. Very accurate passer. He gets rid of the ball quickly. Here's the pitch to Hawkins. He's got a lane to run through, and he gets wow. all the way up to the 20-yard line as he carries a couple of tacklers. Nice pickup there for the Army commitment, who had 108 yards rushing last week. It always seems like this kid gets three, four, five yards. Yeah, I mean, just falling forward eh? yeah. and dragging people. It's the tough yards, and you saw there each time he gets out in the open field, it's going to take a couple of tacklers to bring him down. And we have yet to see Hagen Long run the football, but when they faced Ponsatula last week or two weeks ago in the season opener, they rushed for 228 yards. Second down now. Rosevier gives it to Hawkins. Hawkins stood up right there at the line of scrimmage, but he does his best to at least maybe get a yard or so. Bringing up third down and short now. Live Oak coming into this game, 11 of 23 on third downs. They're averaging 355 yards, 219 on the ground, 135 through the air. Mentioned it earlier, Live Oak started 4-0 last year and then the injury bug they actually were accumulating injuries through the first month of the season, and it just caught up to them once they got into district play. Hawkins was one of those guys. And I think he's got enough there for a first down. And again, you just see Coach Beard, you know, willing to just stay with his run game. As you see Key Hawkins leave out there, that means 24, Hagen Long, will be the featured back when Hawkins is out, but he's he's willing to grind this clock up and just kind of take it right at you. Just over a minute to go in the opening quarter. Live Oak now three of four on third downs, and they pitch it off to Long. He's a good running back, too. Long's got a blocker in front of him, and he's got a little speed and taken down at about the eight-yard line. Close to that first down marker for Hagen Long. Good look at Long now, and he's not going to be as big and physical as Hawkins, but he can do a couple of more things. He can really catch the football, run pass routes. He can get out wide for you. He's kind of your do-it-all back uh, in the backfield for there for Live Oak. Averaging almost eight yards a carry and one of the vocal leaders on this Live Oak team. Second down and about three as Rosevear will get underneath center under a minute to go in this opening quarter. And they'll hand it off to Long, and Long gets hit from behind and brought down as wrapping him up was Brandon Addison, close to that first down marker. Let's see Hawkins back in the game, and they'll really try to keep Long and Hawkins both in the backfield at the same time. Rosevere quickly gets him underneath, up to the line of scrimmage. Pitch to Hawkins. Hawkins cuts it. And he is waiting for a signal here. He is stopped just shy of the goal line. Well, you talk about Hawkins and Long and how they complement each other and work with each other, willing to do things for each other. That time, Long had the great kick out block. It allowed Key Hawkins to cut it up. And we got a player down on the field that may be LeMay down. And that is also the end of the first quarter. They'll go all the way to the other side of the field. Live Oak driving here after they were stopped on downs on their first drive. Both teams fired up to play this one. Got to stay away from the mistakes, though. You're watching Game Time on Your View, Louisiana. Hey, Joe Martin here. You've seen our commercials over the years, and you may be wondering, what's in it for me? Well, ITI Technical College has been selected by Forbes magazine as a top 32-year college. But even more than that, the reason we do this is you. Our tagline is, for a better life. And we mean that, for you to be able to have the life you've always dreamed about, to do the things for your family you've always dreamed about. And it can begin here, where we are dedicated to your success, because here at ITI, the reason we do it is you. I'm Brett Favre. As a quarterback in the NFL, if I didn't stay focused, I ended up on my back or worse. Even the smallest distraction could make a good play or offensive drive come to an end. When you're in a car, the smallest distraction could end much more than a drive. It could end someone's life. 
Just like I refuse to lose on the field, I refuse to lose someone I love to distract and drive them. And you should too. Focus on the road. Don't drive distracted. A message from Farm Bureau Insurance. Senior Medicare Patrol is a federally funded program of the Administration for Community Living in Louisiana, Florida, Mississippi, and Wisconsin. Senior Medicare Patrol is sponsored by EQ Health Solutions. Our mission is to empower and assist Medicare beneficiaries, their families, and caregivers to prevent, detect, and report health care fraud, errors, and abuse through outreach, counseling, and education. You should also call 877-272-8720 or visit stopmedicarefraud.org for more information. Back here at West Feliciana High School, where the Saints and Live Oak Eagles are scoreless heading into the second quarter, but Live Oak has a very impressive drive ongoing, 12 plays, 59 yards so far, led by Key Hawkins, who's got nearly 40 yards rushing, and that is an injury that West Feliciana does not need. We profiled him at the top of the broadcast. Nino LeMay, sophomore player, and he is hobbled as he comes back yeah, to the his sidelines. And the unfortunate thing about that, particularly at this at the 3A level, is when you lose a player like LeMay, you're losing both an offensive starter as well as one a guy that plays on defense quite a bit. So it's, a, it's sort of a double whammy, and we talked about West Feliciana already being hit by the injury bug, and uh, you talk about insult to injury. Uh, hopefully he will be able to get back in the contest. First and goal, just inside the one yard line. Hawkins will be the running back here once they allow the guys to play. And a quarterback sneak. Putting the ball over the plane of the goal line. It's Rosevere for the touchdown. Yeah, pretty simple play there. We see Drew Brees do this quite a bit down with New Orleans. But, you know, you just get everybody lined up low and block and then just have your quarterback reach it up over that plane pretty close from that vantage point. If he got it, he didn't get it yeah. by much. Wow. But, uh, you know, nevertheless, a signal touchdown and Live Oak able to strike here first. Extra point try coming up as Rose Veer will now handle the holding duties. The point after touchdown will be attended by Cole Crenshaw. Cole Crenshaw, who hurt his kicking toe early on in the season, but he's getting healthy and he knocks that one off our lift out there. We're holding our cameraman high above the sky. Yeah, again here, let's see if we can see another angle vantage point to see if he got that ball across the line. Difficult to see there. But uh, as you mentioned, Jeff, if he got it in there, it, was, <laughs> it wasn't by much, my friend. Good look at Rosevere there. He'll, have, go ahead. He'll go to college as a baseball player. He's a really good baseball player. And he's really done a nice job taking over as the starting quarterback this season, a former wide receiver who certainly can get the ball downfield. In fact, both our starting quarterbacks uh, in this game, are, their primary sport is talking with the coaches is really baseball. Uh, but obviously baseball players sometimes develop to be pretty good quarterbacks as well. Crenshaw is going to have it teed up here. Early on in the second quarter, again, the scoreboard not working here tonight at West Feliciana. Crenshaw's kick will be taken here from the two-yard line. And losing the football and having to jump on it was Robert Smith, and that would have been disastrous there if West Feliciana turned it over. Well, and this is one when, when Robert Smith and the coaching staff watches this on film, he was just extremely lax with the football. You're supposed to hold it high and tight. You see him just let that football down low, and once you do that, 
and there's any kind of, you know, defenders around you, they're going to swipe at that football. But watch how low he lets this football go right there. And got to keep that football up and well protected. Punched out of there by Thomas Walker. But Smith athletic enough to jump back on it. But the starting field position here for West Feliciana will be at the 17 yard line. Clement will line up in shotgun formation. Pedro Johnson, the running back, right behind him in this double wing set. Live Oak brings the blitz. Clement runs out of there. And he shows elusiveness there, and he picks up about seven. Put seven down to the field, and Kate Adams. Thanks, Jeff. Well, I have got Kenny Havard, the West Feliciana Parish President, down here with me. Kenny, this is my first time ever coming to West Feliciana. Um, it's a great night, great atmosphere for some Friday night football. But tell me about some other things you guys have going on over here. Yeah, we have our, uh, I guess, the, what I would call our uh, our crown jewel of uh, West Feliciana Parish, which would be St. Francisville. We have uh, lots of uh, nightlife, restaurants, a lot of tourism around. We have several really new restaurants that are around. We like, I said, everybody come here, you know, visit us. And, uh, you know, like I said, come on the weekends, come up here. We're known for the hill country. We want people to uh, feel comfortable and feel at home when they come up here and visit us here. Lots of bed and breakfasts, you know, around. Come stay, you know, weekend, get away with your wife, girlfriend, whatever. We, uh, again, we have a lot to offer. And we thank y'all for coming up and spending the time with us tonight and just kind of showcasing West Feliciana. If there's anything we can do or I can do in the, in the future, let us know. You know, again, uh, we'd love to see y'all come up here. Love for y'all. Glad that y'all reached out to us tonight and uh, brought your viewers in our home. So, uh, and we certainly appreciate it. Well, Kenny, we are very excited to be here tonight. Actually, earlier today, I was on the phone with my mom. She said she just got finished talking to my aunt who brought some people from Germany to come eat right here in St. Francisville. Yeah. There's tons of great restaurants, tons of places to stay, and it is so important to venture out in other places in Louisiana, even if you're just in Baton Rouge or somewhere close by, or if you're up in the northern part of the state, because right now, St. Francisville has a lot to offer. It does. And it's a, probably the closest thing you can get to North Carolina here in Louisiana. You know, we have our rolling hills. You know, you can feel a little breeze tonight. It's, uh, you know, come up here, visit us, leave, you know, some of the crime behind. Come to, come to West Louisiana. We're a relatively safe community. It's all great. Come, come see us. Come spend your money here. Eat here. Visit with us. Great school system. We're proud of it. Uh, we'll be even prouder if we win this game tonight. So. Well, I'm going to wish your Saints good luck tonight. And look, a great experience over here at West Feliciana. Thank you so much, Kenny. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Guys. Thank you to Kate Adams and Kenny Haver, the president for West Feliciana Parish, the former state representative. Live Oak's going to have some good field position here after they go three and out on their opening drive or on the opening drive of the second quarter. Only a 28-yard punt. By Jacob Fleeman. Yeah, and this is where this Saints defense is really going to have to settle in now. And obviously, Live Oak has great field position, was able to drive the ball down the field. And they're going to have to focus in on stopping and slowing down this running game. Live Oak has not had to do a whole bunch through the air, but they have been very effective in their ground game. So from the 43 yard line, Live Oak will start this drive. First and 10, Eagles. The Rosevier will get underneath center. Long in motion. There's a whistle, and we have a flag on the near side, and it looks like West Feliciana is already offside. So that will mark five yards off against West Feliciana. So they'll put the ball now at the 38 yard line. Rosevere play action fake. Lofts one downfield, single coverage, and it's over his receiver's head. 
C.J. Davis was tightly defended there by Jacob Fleeman. Yeah, same play they tried to run earlier, trying to get C.J. Davis on a little skinny post. And yeah, he was well covered, but again, Rosevere threw this ball well behind him. If he had thrown this ball on the inside, C.J. Davis would have had a chance to make a, make a play or run onto the football. 8.35 to go before halftime. Long in motion as Rosevere gets underneath center. Hawkins, nice job there from the defensive secondary. Delvin Whitaker, Hawkins this number number here. three here for West Feliciana. This kid is just a freshman, but he's already making a bunch of tackles here for the Saints. Nine tackles on the year Stop through two games, and he made a nice three. play Delvin there on a senior running back. A little worse for wear after the contact with Key Hawkins, but still, that was pretty impressive. No, it was, and that's the way you got to come up and stop the run, but I tell you what, he's feeling all of that, and, and not sure, he's still hobbled up there. I don't know if they're going to have to maybe take a timeout or whatnot, but he is, he's hobbled up right there at that linebacker position. Third down and four. Davis in motion, he gets it on the jet sweep, and he's going to have the first down. Nice cut there, inside the 20. And he's down at the 11 yard line. That's CJ Davis. What a good run there. And we've been watching Live Oak a, a lot, Jason, over the years. I'd say one thing that they've been missing is someone like CJ Davis, an athletic kid that can really make some plays out in space. Well, and you can see how exciting he is. And we've seen him a couple times on a quick slant and here, you know, getting out in space. And you're right, this will really complement this Live Oak offense. Somebody that can take it the distance, make people miss, uh, and really add some electricity to this offense. That's a 27-yard run for C.J. Davis, a sophomore. Hand off to Long. Long follows his blockers, and he gets to the six-yard line, and that's one of his good Long qualities Long for Hagen Long. He's a patient running back, kind of that Le'Veon Bell type of back who waits for the hole to open up or follows his blockers like he did on that play. And they are inside the premier concrete red zone. Second New sponsor here on Game Time. Welcome to Premier Concrete Products. Second and goal. Long gets another opportunity, but West Feliciana gets into the backfield. That's Okria Anderson. And this kid had 83 tackles a season ago. He's been battling a bit of a knee injury, but there's also a look at Clarence Emery, another tall, lanky player here for West Feliciana. Live Oak's been outstanding on third down. They are five of six on third down so far here tonight. I think they hit on their last five. Rosevier rolling out to his left. Faces some pressure, and that was lucky for him. It wasn't intercepted. Yeah, and that was Emory again, the big, tall defensive end, really creating pressure. And I tell you what, with those long legs and arms, it is hard for quarterbacks to throw around such a big, tall guy there. But watch him create problems there for Rosevere. And I tell you what, that was a dangerous throw back across the field there and really could have ended in an interception. Live Oak brought the field goal unit on, but they somebody called timeout, and we'll take it with them. We are in the second quarter. The Eagles leading West Feliciana 7-0. We'll see what Live Oak decides to do when we come back on game time. Tonight's game time starting lineups are brought to you by ITI Technical College, your key to a better life. Check out the stories behind the games. Visit yourview.com slash Louisiana. Here in Louisiana, we play to win every single game. Under John Bell Edwards, our economy ranks dead last in America. Eddie Responi will win back lost jobs, reverse the Edwards tax hikes, and blitz trial lawyer control and corruption. Louisiana shouldn't settle for last place in anything. I'm Eddie Responi. First is where we belong. It's time to lead the South in football and in jobs. Eddie Responi for governor. Tonight's game time keys to the game are brought to you by Podna's Barbecue. 
slow cook, fall off the bone, perfection, and the best baked beans in America. For more game time high school football coverage, check out yourview.com. Cole Crenshaw on here for Live Oak to try to connect on this 25-yard field goal. And for the season, he is now two for two, both of them 25 yards. And Live Oak extends its lead to 10 to nothing over West Feliciana. Yeah, but that's a small victory, too, there for West Feliciana because Live Oak got the ball with great field position and uh, really had momentum from the last drive. And West Feliciana able to dig in there and hold them to three. So that's a, that's a good stop there for West Feliciana. Now they got to try to get something productive on the offensive side. Yeah, time of possession way in favor of Live Oak. West Feliciana has not run many offensive plays so far in this football game. Well, and I think they're trying to figure out what they can do successfully against this Live Oak defense. I think they're having, obviously, problems with Jalen Lee up front and can't get the running game going. And, you know, with injuries and not having his full complement of wide receivers, trying to figure out how to get the pass game going, too. So Live Oak will kick it back off here to West Feliciana. Got to protect it this time, protect the football. They could really use a good run back here. This will be taken from the three yard line. Nice job by Live Oak to cover it. Not much running room at all there for the returner who gets out to the 17 yard line and that's where West Feliciana will start this drive. And the return there, that was Dracavion Anderson. Game time on your view. Thanks Louisiana Lift for their support of this telecast specializing in customer service on equipment, rentals, parts, and training. Louisiana Lift has been serving customers since 1980. You can check them out online at lalift.com or call them 753-5700 in the Baton Rouge area. Louisiana Lift, they're always on call. From the 17 yard line here for West Feliciana, They've only run nine play plays have the Saints, while Live Oak has run 24. Oh, another ball on the ground behind the line of scrimmage. Clement picks up it, picks it up, but boy, oh boy, West Feliciana can't handle the football and. It's been on the ground way too much in this first half. That's a loss of three. And I'm wondering if Fazio, they kind of collided in the backfield again. Let's see if Fazio, watch on the reverse. Not, not, I can't really tell there, but obviously a lot of misdirection going. Let's see if there's a little bump right here. Well, may have bumped the up back. That, I think that's what happened. It looked like it went off of Johnson there and that's what caused it to go on the ground and again just not space and good rhythm right now for West Feliciana second out and 13 for Clement the junior so only thrown for over 100 yards this season needs to make a play here through the air and there's a completion and it'll get him up to the 20-yard line to pick up a five or six. That's about it. And I think that's what they're going to have to do more of. Uh, obviously, trying to run this football off tackle is not going to, uh, you know, really work or be a good part of their game plan. But if they can give, Clement can get the ball out to some of his skilled players quickly. Get them out there. Let them try to make some plays out on the edges. I think that's where West Feliciana uh, could have some success. Kelly, his third catch of the season there, now brings up third down and long is West Feliciana looking to try to move the chains. Just one first down on the season or on the game, and they are one for three on third down here tonight. Got to be careful with the football deep in your own territory. That's Quick pass, yep. and there they go. Nice play by Robert Smith. Yeah, that's what I think they're going to have to do right there. You've got some good skilled players on the edge, and oh, man, hopefully not another one. One coming up hobbled there. And I mean, these are just key players after key players. Hopefully he can shake that thing off, but that's their, that's their main wide receiver, him and Holland. And, and Nino LeMay is already out with an injury. He's still sitting on the bench. Oh man, that's tough. Able to pick up a much needed first down there by Smith. Clement now will get it to Holland, who you just talked about, Jason, and a hard run in there. Gets about seven, eight in Holland. A senior player got hurt in the season opener, was a question mark heading into today's game. 
Knight makes a nice play there after the catch and manageable second down and four now coming up. Well, maybe some of their offensive coaching staff next there heard me, Jeff. Now they're getting the ball out quick, getting it out on the edges, and those last two plays have, have looked really good, and you're getting it to your playmakers' hands, both number six and number 10, Holland and Smith. Three minutes left in this first half. Live Oak leading it 10 to nothing. Pedro Johnson runs into a brick wall, loses a yard or two. Jalen Lee leading the charge there, the LSU commitment as you take a look at him. Coach Brett Beard says this guy's hands are unbelievable, very impressive, just great technique there. Man, another player down here for West Feliciana. And that's Pedro Johnson who just carried the football. We'll take the break with less than three minutes to go. Saints can't stay away from the injury bug. We'll be back after this. I'm Brett Favre. As a quarterback in the NFL, if I didn't stay focused, I ended up on my back or worse. Even the smallest distraction could make a good play or offensive drive come to an end. When you're in a car, the smallest distraction could end much more than a drive. It could end someone's life. Just like I refuse to lose on the field, I refuse to lose someone I love to distract the driving. And you should too. Focus on the road. Don't drive distracted. A message from Farm Bureau Insurance. Attention to detail makes the world go round. At Baker Printing, our approach to the printing business is very simple. Treat it as if it were your own. That's not always an easy job, but it comes from the top down in our company. We thrive on the unique jobs. Bottom line, we take care of our customers' projects as if they were our very own. At Baker Printing, attention to detail makes our world go round. Third down and three, Pedro Johnson was able to walk off the field here, but West Feliciana down by 10 late in the first half, facing a third down and three. Yeah, another critical third down, don't want to give them the football back. Clement looks over the defense. Live Oak looks like they're gonna blitz and here they come. They quickly throw it to Holland and it's over his head. There defensively was Cade Lane, but Clement never really gave Holland a chance. But then again, Live Oak secondary knew what was gonna happen there. They knew that was gonna be a quick pass out into the flat to their wide receivers to see if they can't Number 10, move up field and make a play. Yeah, tried to bring a little deception with it, look, make it look like they were going to run the option and then try to flick it out there to Holland on the edge, but the defensive back was playing press coverage and really play had no shot. 2.20 left to go before halftime. Aiden Holland is a really good punter. He could be a Division I punter. He's been punting for West Feliciana for four years now. Just got that one off. And it's a fair catch on the other end, and Live Oak will take over at their own 35-yard line. Fair catch on the run by Live by Terry Don't miss any of the action this season. Go to yearview.com slash football and sign up for the Game Time Newsletter to get the previous week's highlights, stories, and recruiting news, along with a preview of the upcoming week's matchups delivered straight to your inbox. Live Oak. Starting from their own 35-yard line, as you look at Coach Brett Beard, played college football at Vanderbilt and at Southeastern Louisiana. He was a head coach at Woodlawn, helped build that program up. And he's done a really nice job here at Live Oak. Rosevier rolling out, nice throw and catch. As it's to the 44-yard line, the Hagen Long, a couple yards shy of the first down. We're under two minutes to go, I believe, here before halftime. Yeah, Long, that's his second uh, pass completion, and you know he, he'll be the route runner from the backfield. They'll also line him up at wide receiver. Rosevier rolling out to his left, zips another one, and it's dropped. Good coverage by Dracavian Anderson. 
as they try to get the football to Byron Smith, who's got a couple of catches on the season. Him and Amar Pinker, basketball guys. You can tell by Smith's yeah. long arms that he's probably – Pretty good rebounder. Yeah, yeah, I bet you can go up and get a few. He's got some height on him. And I'll tell you what, Rose Veer, looking at him in these last two throws, it seems like he's more comfortable throwing the football, kind of rolling out. He gets a lot of zip on it. Uh, seems like he's more accurate there. We saw him miss on some post patterns from the pocket. Rose Veer under pressure, and the pocket collapses out of it. He goes down. Sacked by the Saints. That's a big play there for West Feliciana. There's the freshman again, Delvin Whitaker making a play. Yeah, we saw him make a good hit in the backfield earlier. And down here he comes and finishes up the sack there. Loss of seven, Live Oak will have to punt. Yeah. Good pressure off the edge too. And an opportunity now to get the ball back. Yeah, we like you said, the clock is out, but we think there's a little less than two minutes to play. So if you can, you know, hopefully set up a good return here, you got a chance to get good field position, put some points on the board before the half. Dracavian Anderson and Smith are back deep for Westfell. 103 is left on the clock. And of course it's running here. And the punt from Thomas oh, Walker. And that ball is on the ground Pitch. again, and West Feliciana gets back on it. Yeah, that was Kelly able to recover it. Really should have waved for a fair catch there. And I mean, the defenders were on top of him as soon as he caught the ball. And again, very fortunate there not to have turned the football over. Watch this ball come down. It was high and took his eye off of it because he saw the defender coming in and it bounces off of him. You can see, watch him just take his eye off of it there for a second. And that's enough to cause you to miss the football. 30 yard punt. 34 seconds. By 34. Thomas Walker, who 34. has taken over the punting duties here for Live Oak. So let's see if Bennett Clement can make a play. Westfell will get the football to begin the second half. Here's the throw downfield, and it is right in the hands of the receiver, Robert Smith, who can't hang on to it. Wow, that's one you got to come up with. Man. You know, it wasn't the greatest of throws, but, uh, you know, obviously it was one where Smith has his defender beat and a real opportunity. Ball had a lot of hang time on it. Oh, man, just so close. Trying to time it, look for it over his hey, shoulder there and there, just unable to hang on to it. But that was the big strike that this Saints offense needed. So second down and 10. <laughs> From the 34 yard line. Rosevere under a lot of pressure, gets out of the pocket, but he goes down. Finally getting to him, Damian Catling, who has been really good coming off the edge for Live Oak. First year starter, a junior. And that's a loss of six as Bennett Clement goes down. Yeah, Kaplan in there, and Live Oak dialed up the pressure there. And yeah, they just don't want to give Clement a whole lot of time to sit back there and and throw the football. They're going to force him to make quick decisions there. And hung on the ball a little too long. And that's the, and that's the end of the first half. With Live Oak leading West Feliciana 10 to nothing. All the scoring coming in the second quarter as Live Oak after a bit of a slow start offensively where they went four plays and out. They've been able to establish a couple of drives here and get some points on the board. Meanwhile, for the Saints, tough sledding against a Live Oak defense that was really good coming into this game against the, against the run this season. So Brett Beard is with his team right now, and he's getting those kids fired up. So we're going to take a break, I believe. And when we come back, we'll begin our halftime show from... West Feliciana High School in St. Francisville. Stay tuned. This is game time on your view.
four four time champion, right? Four four Game Time Halftime is brought to you by Louisiana Farm Bureau Insurance. Ready to serve you with auto, homeowners, life insurance, and more. Real service, real people. Visit Baton Rouge. It's not just the capital city, it's the hub of all things Louisiana. Find out more about all the Red Stick has to offer at visitbatonrouge.com. ITI Technical College, your key to a better life. And by Peak Performance. At Peak Performance Physical Therapy, we treat the athlete and everyone stronger, faster, better. When I tore my ACL, I didn't think I'd ever be able to play soccer again. My doctor told me how important physical therapy would be, so I chose Peak. I'm glad I did. Now I'm stronger, faster, better than ever. Choose Peak. Choose Peak Performance Physical Therapy. We're here at Potna's Barbecue, Louisiana's best barbecue. I've got the owner, Gerald Hopper, and you've got mouth-watering, fall-off-the-bone ribs. Well, they're slow-cooked, I can tell you that. We smoke them every day. If we're out of ribs, it's because uh, the firewood was wet and we didn't have time to finish them off. Tim McGraw said you got the best baked beans in the world. And Tim McGraw was right. Potna's Barbecue, Louisiana's best barbecue. Stop by today for some of those slow-cooked ribs. We're at Don Moore and Sherwood Forest at I-12. Hey, Joe Martin here. You've seen our commercials over the years and you may be wondering, what's in it for me? Well, ITI Technical College has been selected by Forbes Magazine as a top 32 year college. But even more than that, the reason we do this is you. Our tagline is for a better life. And we mean that for you to be able to have the life you've always dreamed about, to do the things for your family you've always dreamed about. And it can begin here where we are dedicated to your success because here at ITI, the reason we do it is you. Exercising is my life, so when I had to stop because of my foot and ankle pain, I was absolutely devastated. I chose Peak and they taught me how to relieve the pain. They really do bring out the athlete in everyone. Choose Peak. Choose Peak Performance Physical Therapy. Tonight's Game Time League standings are brought to you by Visit Baton Rouge. It's not just the capital city, it's the hub of all things Louisiana. Find out more about all the Red Stick has to offer at visitbatonrouge.com. When I tore my ACL, I didn't think I'd ever be able to play soccer again. My doctor told me how important physical therapy would be, so I chose Peak. I'm glad I did. Now I'm stronger, faster, better than ever. Choose Peak. Choose Peak Performance Physical Therapy. As an alternate, Alton Franklin. It's the home opener for West Feliciana, and it's an opportunity for them to recognize the state champion boys track and field team. For a fourth consecutive year, West Feliciana has won the Class 3A boys, outdoor boys track and field state championship. Congratulations to this group of kids. That's, that's pretty impressive. Gives you an idea of the athletic ability that is here in St. Francisville. Also, some good stuff inside the classroom. And for more on that, we send it down to Kate Adams, who has our Teachers of the Week. Thanks, Jeff. Well, I've got both of our Teachers of the Week. I've got Ro Rosalind Zalberg from Live Oak. Also, Mass Max Hawkins from West Felician. I'm going to start with Rosalind really quickly. Rosalind, tell me about what classes you teach. I teach AP Chemistry, AP Physics, and Physics. All right, so you teach some of the really tough classes. What what is your what do you do to motivate your students in those harder classes um, we do a lot of in science we do science so we try to do a lot of hands-on I try to relate it to their real world and take them out you know into the lab or into the into the hallway or outside and just do anything that can pique their interest and prepare them for life after Live Oak High School tell me about some of those opportunities outside of the classroom um, well, we go out in the lab and we demonstrate rotational motion, we shoot rockets, we, we try to do anything we can to make it come to life. Well, science is definitely an important thing for all of our students to learn, so thank you so much for all that you do and congratulations on getting Teacher of the Week. All right, moving over to Max Hawkins from West Feliciana High School. Max, tell me a little bit about the classes that you teach. So I teach uh, AP U.S. History, regular U.S. History, and broadcasting. Wow, well, that is a lot. Broadcasting is important. Here we are doing it right now. What's your favorite course that you teach? I like them all. I mean, they each bring something different. AP U.S. History, I get to talk a lot and just 
I like doing that because it's a college level class, regular U.S. history. Uh, I like getting relating things to the kids, and then broadcasting is a great hands-on opportunity. So I actually have two kids out here right now filming the game. So. Well, it's definitely a great opportunity. I actually never got to do that when I was in high school. So to be able to offer opportunities like that to our high school kids is so important. Um, tell me about some of the things that you do to help motivate your students. You know, I just try to relate to them one-on-one. -on -one. I teach a lot of different kids uh, from a lot of different backgrounds, and it's truly really important to level with them one-on-one. -on -one. And I think that's the most important thing. If, if you can really relate to a kid and reach a kid, then you can get them to do anything for you. You really can. You, you're definitely right, Max. So thank you for all that you do. And again, congratulations on being Teacher of the Week. Thank you. Congratulations to you as well. All right, congratulations to both of our Teachers of the Week. And I'm going to send it back up to you guys. How about those golden pipes there for Max Hawkins? That's pretty good. Now it's time to hear from one of the great sponsors here on Game Time, Louisiana Farm Bureau Insurance. Rillo, and I am an agent here at Farm Bureau Insurance here in Point Capi Parish. Being a part of this community over here, I think it's been a blessing for myself as well as my family. I was born and raised here in Point Capi Parish, so to be able to come home and to service the community in all of their insurance needs. I have three young kids, so it's very easy for me to be involved in all of their extracurricular as well as school activities. At my youngest daycare, I like to donate a lot of car seats for some of the parents there that are struggling maybe to make ends meet. We donate books a lot. A reading, they have a great reading program here, and it's very beneficial to a lot of these younger kids that are in elementary school. One of the things that we pride ourselves on with Farm Bureau is our slogan, real service, real people. And so it's been a wonderful opportunity for me to give back to them as well and to service them in all of their insurance needs. Well, I've had back pain now and then, but it got so bad I couldn't even bend over. I didn't want to resort to pain pills, so I chose Peak, hoping they could relieve the pain. They got me active again. I even lost weight. I believe in better. I chose Peak. Choose Peak Performance Physical Therapy. I'm Brett Favre. As a quarterback in the NFL, if I didn't stay focused, I ended up on my back or worse. Even the smallest distraction could make a good play or offensive drive come to an end. When you're in a car, the smallest distraction could end much more than a drive. It could end someone's life. Just like I refuse to lose on the field, I refuse to lose someone I love to distract the driving. And you should too. Focus on the road. Don't drive distracted. A message from Farm Bureau Insurance. Welcome to Monogram Express, a unique embroidery boutique specializing in personalized and one-of-a-kind gift ideas. Gifts for babies, children, ladies, and even men, we have you covered. Equipped with state-of-the-art embroidery machines, along with an experienced client-focused staff serving you six days a week. Check out the area's largest selection of letters, designs, and thread colors. We're your one-stop embroidery shop. Handling personal, corporate, team, and school logos, and you're welcome to bring in your own items. Conveniently located at 2109 Veterans. Monogram Express makes your ordinary gifts extraordinary. Attention to detail makes the world go round. At Baker Printing, our approach to the printing business is very simple. Treat it as if it were your own. That's not always an easy job, but it comes from the top down in our company. We thrive on the unique jobs. Bottom line, we take care of our customers' projects as if they were our very own. At Baker Printing, attention to detail makes our world go round. I spent years suffering from knee pain, so I decided to have replacement surgery. My doctor did a great job, and he allowed me to choose Peak for my PT. I should have done this a long time ago. I'm so glad I chose Peak. Choose Peak Performance Physical Therapy. Tonight's Game Time Player of the Game is brought to you by ITI Technical College, your key to a better life. Check out the stories behind the games. Visit yourview.com slash Louisiana. Halftime here at West Feliciana High School. The Crew of Blue, the Live Oak Marching Band, outperforming right now as the Eagles have a 10-0 lead over the Saints. Let's send it back down to the field in Kate Adams. Thanks, Jeff. Well, I want to give a big thank you to Crown Trophies for providing all of our plaques, both for our Teachers of the Week as well as our Scholars of the Week. And I've got two Scholars of the Week right here with me. I've got Jude Barker from Live Oak and Caleb Dixon from West Feliciana. I'm going to start with Jude. Jude, you're a senior right now at Live Oak. Tell me about one of your favorite memories with the Eagles. 
You know, I love our pep rallies and Friday nights at Live Oak High. Nothing like being in that stadium with all your, your fellow peers and your teachers and everybody. It's really a great time. It really is. All right. Well, you were telling me right before we came on that you got into a college. So tell me a little bit about what college you're going to and do you have any plans to study a major yet? Um, I'm going to the United States Military Academy at West Point and I'm looking at studying mechanical engineering there. Yep. Wow, well that's very impressive and look, we always can use more engineers in the world. Okay, so your senior year at Live Oak, what is it that you have to do before you graduate? Uh, I have to spend more time with my friends and family before I leave home and, uh, and really give everybody thanks at, at the home for uh, supporting me and everything I do. Yeah. Well, thank you so much, Jude, and look, congratulations on Scholar of the Week. I'm going to take it over now to Caleb Dixon from West Feliciana. Caleb, tell me a little bit about what college you're attending, because you also told me you got accepted yes, as well. Um, so I want to go to um, Healing Place College. It's my uh, church's college um, in uh, Baton Rouge to just, uh, because I just love God, love people, um, and, and, I, and I just want to share his word. Yeah. Well, that is really amazing. You can always share that word more and more each day. Do you have plans to study a major yet? Um, not just yet. I'm still looking into, into that, but yes. Yeah. Well, also in your senior year at West Feliciana, tell me about one of your favorite memories. Man, uh, just night, uh, night, nights like this. I'm um, just hanging out with all my friends um, and the uh, football team. Um, the, the band is in, uh, in, in, uh, incredible. Y'all yeah. do have a great band. Actually, I hadn't been able to hear half the time I've been down here, but it's a great experience. All right, I already asked you, but I've got to ask you, what do you have to do before you graduate? Man, um, just hang out with these people. Um, I mean, St. Francisville is the best town, um, and there's just so much to offer here. Um, yeah. Well, we've definitely been having a blast since we've been in St. Francisville, but look, I want to give another shout out to Crown Trophies. Thank you so much for all that you do and provide, for providing these wonderful plaques. And look, a big congratulations to both of our Scholars of the Week, Jude Barker and Caleb Dixon. Back to you guys. Thanks, Kate. Uh, two fine young gentlemen there. Let's now hear from Peak Performance Physical Therapy. Hey, my name is Jonathan Kern. I'm a physical therapist at Peak Performance Physical Therapy on Perkins Road. We get a lot of questions in the clinic about generalized shoulder pain. And I'm going to show you five exercises when, when done correctly, can utilize a lot of your muscles around the shoulder blade as well as your rotator cuff muscles. The first one is a simple row. This is a, a tubing that we use in the clinic. A row, you're going to pull straight back. Your shoulder blade should be pinching together at the back. You don't want to hike up and you don't want to rotate your shoulders forward. Just a slight row straight back. Second one with the arms straight across, pulling straight back. Same position for the shoulder blades. Shoulder blades are coming down and back together. Another one is pulling down towards your side. Elbows straight, the exact same shoulder position. The shoulder blade is moving together toward the spine. The next two, the shoulder blade is going to be still angled towards your, your spinal column. So you're going to retract your shoulder blade back, hold it there, rotate out with the elbow slightly away from your side. The next one is going to be another internal rotation. Same thing, shoulder blade is going to be squeezed back towards your spine, slight angle out towards your body and pulling in towards your stomach. If you have any other, any other questions about shoulder pain or generalized pain or weakness, come see me, Jonathan Kearney, at Peak Performance Physical Therapy on Perkins Road. Hey, Joe Martin here. You've seen our commercials over the years and you may be wondering, what's in it for me? Well, ITI Technical College has been selected by Forbes Magazine as a top 32 year college. But even more than that, the reason we do this is you. Our tagline is for a better life. And we mean that for you to be able to have the life you've always dreamed about, to do the things for your family you've always dreamed about. And it can begin here where we are dedicated to your success because here at ITI, the reason we do it is you. We're here at Padna's Barbecue, Louisiana's best barbecue. I've got the owner, Gerald Hopper, and you've got mouth-watering, fall-off-the-bone ribs. Well, they're slow-cooked, I can tell you that. We smoke them every day, and if we're out of ribs, it's because uh, the firewood was wet, and we didn't have time to finish them off. Tim McGraw said you got the best baked beans in the world. And Tim McGraw was right. Padna's Barbecue, Louisiana's best barbecue. Stop by today for some of those slow-cooked ribs. Born at Don Moore and Sherwood Forest at I-12.
I'm Brett Favre. As a quarterback in the NFL, if I didn't stay focused, I ended up on my back or worse. Even the smallest distraction could make a good play or offensive drive come to an end. When you're in a car, the smallest distraction could end much more than a drive. It could end someone's life. Just like I refuse to lose on the field, I refuse to lose someone I love to distract and drive them. And you should too. Focus on the road. Don't drive distracted. A message from Farm Bureau Insurance. Getting closer to the start of the third quarter from West Feliciana High School, St. Francisville, Louisiana. Live Oak leading it 10 to nothing as the Eagles look to start the season 3-0. West Feliciana looking for that first win. And West Feliciana has played, I think, decent on defense. They haven't done much on offense, while Live Oak is kind of just kind of moving along here, grinding. They had really one good drive where they had a, a touchdown, but we saw Brett Beard after halftime really laying into his team. I think he wants to see them take it up a notch or two here in the second half. Yeah, because in his mind, this game shouldn't be 10-0. They've yeah. missed on a lot of opportunities, still a little sloppy on offense, and, you know, they, they, they should be up bigger. And so for West Feliciana, you really caught a break. You're able to hold them to a field goal on that last drive, so now you go in 10-0, you get the football, but I think for the Saints, what you're going to have to do is begin to open up that offense a little bit. You're not going to be able to run it straight at Jalen Lee, so you're going to have to try to get the ball quickly, out quickly to some of your skilled players and see if they can operate on the edges. All right, let's take a look at our first half highlights uh, from this one. No scoring in the first quarter. I'll tell you what, one thing, the ball has been on the ground a lot here tonight. This was an early turnover as West Feliciana had the ball in Live Oak territory, but after that, that's, they didn't anymore. There's a touchdown as Rhett Rosevere gets in on the dive. This was a nice play offensively for Live Oak, and we've seen a couple of nice plays from C.J. Davis, who gets it down to the 10-yard line. They would have to settle, though, for the 25-yard field goal from Cole Crenshaw. And then here's more of Rosevere feeling some pressure. West Feliciana has had some success here tonight getting in the backfield. But offensively, they just have not been able to do anything. The a sack there for the Eagles. Damian Kapling, you look at your first half statistics. Tell you, it's been really tough trying to run the football against this Live Oak defense so far this year. Negative yardage they've given up this year. And so far tonight, just three yards. Somehow the Saints got to get some offense going. Yeah, and you can see their total yards on offense, only 24 yards. That's not going to cut it. Got to do better there. We'll take a break when we come back. Second half kickoff as West Fell will get the football to begin our third quarter. Stay tuned. This is game time on your view. This throbbing neck pain was so bad it moved to my shoulders and was causing severe headaches. Then a friend suggested I choose Peak. Two weeks later, the pain was completely gone. So glad I chose Peak. Choose Peak Performance Physical Therapy. Hey, Joe Martin here. You've seen our commercials over the years and you may be wondering, what's in it for me? Well, ITI Technical College has been selected by Forbes Magazine as a top 32 year college. But even more than that, the reason we do this is you. Our tagline is for a better life, and we mean that for you to be able to have the life you've always dreamed about, to do the things for your family you've always dreamed about. And it can begin here where we are dedicated to your success because here at ITI, the reason we do it is you. We're here at Potna's Barbecue, Louisiana's best barbecue. I've got the owner, Gerald Hopper, and you've got mouth-watering, fall-off-the-bone ribs. Well, they're slow-cooked, I can tell you that. We smoke them every day. If we're out of ribs, it's because uh, the firewood was wet and we didn't have time to finish them off. Tim McGraw said you got the best baked beans in the world. And Tim McGraw was right. Potna's Barbecue, Louisiana's best barbecue. Stop by today for some of those slow-cooked ribs. Florida Don Moore and Sherwood Forest at I-12. Do you need to say great job, congratulations, or way to go? Crown Trophy on Sherwood Forest Boulevard in Baton Rouge has the trophy, plaque, acrylic, or crystal award you're looking for. Whether it's for your team, business, or church, come to Crown Trophy. We guarantee the highest level of customer service, and there's no charge for rush orders or trophy engraving. We're nationally known and locally owned. Visit us online to view our catalog at www.crowntrophy.com. My shoulder pain got so bad I couldn't lift anything overhead. So I chose Peak Performance and I can't believe how much better I am now. Peak really does get you back into the game of life. Choose Peak. 
Choose Peak Performance Physical Therapy. Tonight's Game Time Play of the Game is brought to you by Louisiana Farm Bureau Insurance. Ready to serve you with auto insurance, homeowners insurance, life insurance, and more. Real service, real people. Back here as we begin the second half from West Feliciana High School, Cole Crenshaw has it teed up. And end over end kick. Robert Smith will take it from the two yard line. Smith. As we are underway in the second half, big hit there in the middle of the field. Coming up and laying a lick there was Cam Mass, a senior linebacker. Nice job on the kickoff coverage team. And there's a West Feliciana player still on the ground. That's probably Smith. I mean, he got popped. Uh, as you said, naps. I mean, if you want to know how you're supposed to run down on kickoff coverage and, and plug a hole, Naps did a phenomenal job of that and delivering a blow there. And that may be Smith down. It looked like he had some daylight and was going to take this ball away and then quickly Naps closed. Let's take a look at it again. A big time yeah. hit here on game yeah. time. I think it's just a body blow. Just hits him right there in the, in the midsection. And uh, I think he just knocks the wind out of him. Well, hopefully that's all it is. There that you go again. He still needs to hold that ball a little bit more secure. Luckily, it didn't come out that time. But uh, they're, they're going to have to work with him on ball security uh, when, when returning those kicks. Nino LeMay has already left this game with an injury. I see Malik Jacob down on the sidelines. He's out with an injury. For Coach Odom, it has just been a battle of attrition. So many guys that have gotten injured early on in this season, not only as far as their skill position players, but offensive line. And they hope to uh, eventually get these guys back. You know, Westfell got off to a slow start last season as well. Eventually turned it around and ended up being a number 20 seed in the Class 3A playoffs where they ended up losing to Church Point last season in the first round, 28-6. to six. That ended a string of at least four consecutive semifinal appearances for this West Feliciana school. They won it all in 2017, beating First Richwood in the Mercedes-Benz Superdome. So Bennett Clement and West Feliciana, they scored just one touchdown last week against Live Oak. They had a chance to beat Eastfell in the week one matchup rivalry game, but they lost that contest by just two points. And just blow after blow with injuries. I mean, now Smith out. Hopefully he's okay. He was holding his arm, but then pointing to his head. So... Uh, they're going to examine him and see if they can get him back in the game. Clement calling for the snap, and they go right up the middle, and nothing happening there. Outstanding job by Tyler Braun, filling the hole and pushing the running back back as West Feliciana has gone to a freshman running back here, Dontre. Cummings on the carry and he didn't get to the line of scrimmage. Yeah, and I'm wondering if these are design gives, meaning you don't have the option to pull the football out, but a couple of these, you would think Clement would have pulled the football out and then challenged Live Oak on the edge because they're just not having success running up the middle. They are, you got a freshman running back going up against a 5A school here. That gives you an idea of the type of injuries they have suffered in this one and not much running there. For the freshman, John Trey Cummings. We've also seen Pedro Johnson leave the football game with an injury. Number 27 for Westfell. And I'm seeing him down on the sidelines. He's got his helmet off, just holding on to his helmet. Doesn't look like he's entering the game anytime soon. As they look at the another Westfell player that's hurt, that's Caleb Johnson. Wow, man. It's just incredible. There's no uh, practice squad, uh, Jason. There's no waiver wire. You, yeah. you got what you have, and then you got to deal with it and pray for no injuries. Brett Beard was telling me, knock on wood, they have stayed away from all these injuries. This is a jailbreak here. Clement's just going to have to fall down as he is sacked back at the six-yard line. They wanted to set up a screen, but that live oak defensive line fired off the ball, and there was no chance for Clement. Well, you knew they were bringing the house. They're bringing everybody, third and long, and just want to make life as difficult for Clement as they can, and, man, almost could have got a late hit there. That was some late contact after Clement was on the ground, so very fortunate live oak didn't get a, didn't get a personal foul penalty given 
the Saints a first down. That's a loss of 16 yards there as defensive coordinator Brian Smith has been dialing up the blitzes all night long. And be careful here. You're deep in your own end zone. Since the block. Punting the football. Be careful the punt block unit. There it is. And it's blocked, just like you called it, Jason. And another special teams play for Live Oak. That time it's Brett McCoy with the block out of the end zone, and it's 12 to nothing, Eagles. Well, and you know, when you're turning up the pressure and you get a big play, a sack of a play before, now you're feeling the pressure and you're just going to turn it up another notch and bring that punt block unit in there and able to make it happen there. Good job by McCoy coming around the edge and taking the ball off the foot of the punter. Looked like that was Aaron Spears who was the protector and he just never picked up McCoy, the senior coming off the edge. Yeah, the fortunate thing there for, for the Saints, if there, if there is something, is that it went out of the back of the end zone. So Live Oak was unable to recover it for a touchdown, but it'll be a safety and kicking the football back off. Well, last week, Live Oak converted an onside kick on special teams, and here tonight they get the block punt out of the end zone. So nice job by that unit. And Live Oak now will get the ball for the first time in the second half offensively. And on these things, you get the choice between punting it or kicking it off the tee. And as you mentioned, Jeff, Aiden Holland is their uh, really special punter. A lot of times you can get more hang time, not necessarily the distance, but sometimes you get more hang time by punting it. So Holland has the football. Will punt it from his own 20 on the free kick. Decent punt. And from the 35 yard line. And a good return here for Amar Pink, who gets it into Westfell territory to the 48 yard line. And that's where the Eagles will start. Brett Rosevier, the shortstop on the Live Oak baseball team, leading this Eagles offense. Good look at Pink there. Another one of those big, tall, you know, good looking athletes out there. Just had the punt return. 8.50 left to go in the third quarter. Next week, Live Oak will be at Kentwood. Interesting matchup there. You go from playing a 3A school down to a 1A school, but a very talented 1A school. And then they will start district play soon here. They got to play Abramson Sci Academy. And then their district opener is October 11th against Zachary, the Broncos. The defending champs in 5A off to an 0-2 start. They've played a couple of tough teams, including East Ascension. Good run off the left side there for Key Hawkins. It gets him about seven or eight. Yeah, it's a big, big game there on first down. That's, that's again, classic Live Oak football. You know, just ground and pound. And you see Key Hawkins, a good look at him there. He's also committed to Army. Check with Eric France, the offensive coordinator. Fake the pitch. Rosevere will just keep it on the design run. It's got some blocking there, but too good of blocking. It was a holding penalty. And Rosevere ran out of bounds at the 20-yard line, but Byron Smith is going to get called for holding, and that's going to take a big chunk of that play away. <laughs> Rosevere is going to say, man, I ran for 60 yards in this game, but they've yeah. both been negated by, by, uh, by holding calls. Earlier in the first half, he had about a 40-yard run, and, and this was another good pickup. She can again see Beard looking to get Rose Veer out on the on the edges, whether it's throwing the ball or, or, or running the ball. I just think that that's where he's more comfortable operating. That was a 20 yard run until the holding penalty. The penalty is holding against Live Oak. So he gets 20 yards after you take the holding penalty. So it's a net 20 yard play there. and it's at the 38 yard line. Pitch to Hawkins. 
Good job there from the defensive secondary to bring down the big key Hawkins. That was uh, at Franklin. Elton Franklin, a junior, three tackles on the season, made the stop there, pickup of just three for Key. Live Oak up 10 to nothing in the third quarter. Again, no scoreboard working, so they're keeping the clock down on the field. Rosevere's throw is incomplete. A little bit dangerous there as uh, the coverage was there by Robert Smith. Good to see that he's out there. Yeah, Rosevere that time just, just held the ball a little too long, had long open a lot earlier in the route, and as he held onto that ball, uh, he quickly became covered and almost a, an opportunity there for West Feliciana to pick the football off. But just going to have, he's going to learn, he's got to let those balls go a little bit earlier. Rosevere came into the game. Completing 68% of his passes tonight. He is three for eight for 32 yards. Quick pass here on a slant. And this is a big play for Live Oak. They get the first down and down inside the 15 is CJ Davis. This kid has some shake to him as Brett Beer told us. And I tell you what, I was commenting to you at halftime. 21 yard play there for Davis. I think this is about as well balanced of an offense that Live Oak has had since Brett Beard has been there. And CJ Davis is a big part of that. Yeah, he's their playmaker. And this time, great job by Rosevere recognizing I don't need to make a perfect throw, just quickly get it out there into my playmaker's hand. CJ Davis, doesn't matter what the form is or how it looks, just shovel it out there and let Davis get going. Pitch to Hawkins. Hawkins shakes one tackler. Boy, is he a hard guy to bring down. And then he took a big pop there at the end from Brandon Addison. And then there might be some taunting after that one. Addison leveled Key Hawkins, but might have gotten a little too mouthy afterwards. Yeah, just, you know, probably excited. He got a good clean hit on him. But, you know, for a guy like Key Hawkins, that's just like feeding him, man. He loves that contact. That's not, that's not going to upset him at all. Looks like there's multiple flags down on the field. Yeah, something took place on that far sideline where flags started flying. And Again, our officials from the Shreveport area. After the play will be a personal foul against the Saints. So first down now for Live Oak after the personal foul penalty. And we may have a hydration timeout. Six minutes or somewhere around there left to go in this third quarter with Live Oak leading West Feliciana 12 to nothing. Eagles looking for more. Hey, Joe Martin here. You've seen our commercials over the years and you may be wondering what's in it for me. Well, ITI Technical College has been selected by Forbes Magazine as a top 32-year college. But even more than that, the reason we do this is you. Our tagline is for a better life, and we mean that for you to be able to have the life you've always dreamed about, to do the things for your family you've always dreamed about. And it can begin here where we are dedicated to your success because here at ITI, the reason we do it is you. I'm Brett Favre. As a quarterback in the NFL, if I didn't stay focused, I ended up on my back or worse. Even the smallest distraction could make a good play or offensive drive come to an end. When you're in a car, the smallest distraction could end much more than a drive. It could end someone's life. Just like I refuse to lose on the field, I refuse to lose someone I love to distract the driver. And you should too. Focus on the road. Don't drive distracted. A message from Farm Bureau Insurance. Live Oak leading 12 to nothing over West Fell. C.J. Davis has had a nice game for the Eagles, number nine. A couple catches, 38 yards, and a rush for 27 yards, showing that explosiveness to go along with Key Hawkins and Rhett Rosevere, Hagen Long. Well-rounded group, I tell you, if they can get development out of Amar Pink and Byron Smith, a couple of basketball guys playing wide receiver. That would give Live Oak a lot of options on offense for offensive coordinator Eric France. 
couple of Westfell players coming off the field here as there is coming out of the timeout. Misunderstanding as far, it looks like uh, Westfell defensively bringing in some bigger bodies here as Live Oak only has one wide receiver lined up in this formation. Yeah, I think West Feliciana knows what's coming at him here, and that's going to be a likely a dose of Key Hawkins. But you also have to be careful because Rosevier's uh, rolled out a couple times and, you know, a little quarterback keeper, so you need to be conscious of that as well. First and goal at the five here for Rosevere. <laughs> Hawkins the lone running back, and they give it to Hawkins, who darts to his left, and he's into the end zone for a touchdown. Yeah, he's been the workhorse all night, and he really is, you know, what makes this offense go. Getting those tough yards and getting that running game going. Key Hawkins in that time right off the left side. Good push up front. Nice clean hole right there for him to run through. And then it's just head up with Hawkins and that's a tough battle to win. Five touchdowns now for number five. There is a penalty down or no, there's an injured Westfell player. Another injury here for the Saints. As they'll work out a cramp on one of Westfell's players. We'll take a break, come back, have the extra point for you. Live Oak in control, 18 to nothing. Here in Louisiana, we play to win every single game. Under John Bell Edwards, our economy ranks dead last in America. Eddie Rispone will win back lost jobs, reverse the Edwards tax hikes, and blitz trial lawyer control and corruption. Louisiana shouldn't settle for last place in anything. I'm Eddie Rispone. First is where we belong. It's time to lead the South in football and in jobs. Eddie Rispone for governor. Welcome to Monogram Express, a unique embroidery boutique specializing in personalized and one-of-a-kind gift ideas. Gifts for babies, children, ladies, and even men, we have you covered. Equipped with state-of-the-art embroidery machines, along with an experienced, client-focused staff serving you six days a week. Check out the area's largest selection of letters, designs, and thread colors. We're your one-stop embroidery shop. Handling personal, corporate, team, and school logos, and you're welcome to bring in your own items. Conveniently located at 2109 Veterans. Monogram Express makes your ordinary gifts extraordinary. Extra point try by Cole Crenshaw is good, and it's now 19 to nothing Live Oak over Westfell. And Live Oak and Brett Beer got to like what he's seeing here as he wanted to see a little more fire from his team to begin the second half, and that's exactly what he got. He's got a special team safety, and then the offense takes the football and goes right down the field and gets into the end zone for another score. Send it down to the field and Kate Adams. Jeff, well, I've got West Feliciana uh, Superintendent Hollis Milton with me. Well, right before we came on, you told me that you were the fourth longest tenured superintendent in Louisiana. I mean, that's quite something to say. <laughs> I've just been very blessed. This is a great community. I love West Feliciana. Um, we, we, we have, we're strong in academics. Uh, we've been graded an A by the State Department of Education. Seven state championships in four years. A wonderful community. You can see the community comes out and supports us. So we are Westvale. Uh, we have STEM programs in each one of our schools, school resource offices in each one of our schools. We're known for academic excellence and also athletic excellence. And uh, been considered long, long time as a model for early childhood education. Uh, known for innovation, and look, it's not about me, it's about my team, but we all come to work every day committed to serving our kids, and we love doing it. Well, I definitely can tell that since I've spent some time here tonight. Academic excellence is definitely key, as well as athletic excellence, but you've been here for 10 years as a superintendent. Tell me one of your favorite memories. Um, we went to the state championship. It was in the Dome, 
And I can tell you, my whole community drove through a blizzard to go to the Dome, including myself, and nothing was going to stop us. And when we won that game and watching that clock go down to zero, I was about to cry. I had saw the hard work and so many people in our community waiting so long to win that championship. There's nothing like athletics that brings a community together. And to see us do that and just to see the joy in our kids. So that's got to be my favorite moment in West Louisiana. Well, I don't blame you here in Louisiana. Athletics are a very big part of our culture. And so, look, what a great memory. Always playing in the Dome is something to cherish. And it's a lifelong memory for these kids. I'm going to go ahead and send it back up to you guys. Thanks a lot, Kate. That's right. It snowed that day when West Feliciana won the state championship game. Forgot about that. I was already in New Orleans where it really wasn't snowing, but it wasn't. <laughs> wasn't it wasn't a balmy day that day. That's for sure. We got a chance to do one of their uh, late playoff games. Uh, yes. That, that, well, that, that was season. the same year. Same yeah, year yeah, we, yeah. we were here on, for, the, uh, on the way to the dome. And here it is: the win over Richwood, West Feliciana, getting it done. 41 to 20, the final score. But just a really talented team. And it was quite a party for West Feliciana. They, they get a job. Rob Odom, again, they had been to the state semifinal game four consecutive years. Finally punched the door down when we were here when they beat Jennings. And nothing happening here for Pedro Johnson. That's Kyle Kiddo with a big tackle there. This kid is starting to make a name for himself, according to Brett Beard, a junior, 6'2", 190. Yeah, and I mean, Live Oak has just dominated that line of scrimmage, as you can see, just continuing to get penetration after penetration on each play, and just, just too much right now for this uh, Saints offensive line to handle. Out to punt the football once again is... For West Feliciana, it's Aiden Holland. Darian Ricard, one of the men back for Live Oak. And a late substitution here for Westfell. Yeah, when you have those injuries go down, that was Smith who went down. You got to remember uh, their spots on special teams as well. Last punt was blocked. Holland gets this one off, and that's a decent punt. Ricard will pick it up at the 43 and gets up to the 48 yard line. And a flag comes in late as I think we're starting to see a little talking going on. Making the tackle there for West Feliciana was Caleb Johnson. 35 yard punt. So the officials will sort it out have not had many flags in this game. It's good, like. good ball, that's sportsmanlike. Blue, 15 yard penalty, first down. So another unsportsmanlike penalty on West Feliciana and Live Oak will really benefit from this. Yeah, West Feliciana just trying to trying to hold it together here. Obviously, uh, you know, when you're down so many players, it, it becomes tough. You begin to lose your composure a little bit, and that's essentially what's happening here. But just try to try to finish this game strong and, you know, see if you can get some positive things going. Maybe try to get a turnover here or something and get your team going. Three penalties on the night for Westfell. Two of them have been unsportsmanlike penalties. Nice job on the run again. And a... After the catch there, that was Blaze Priester with the catch. And he gets about eight or nine yards there. Two penalties for Live Oak on tonight. Both of them holding penalties on long runs by the quarterback, Rhett Rosevere. Well, we, when we spoke to Brett Beard this week, man, he really sounded optimistic about his team. And after watching him here tonight, I can see why. Feels really good about him. Key Hawkins, nice move in the backfield to pick up the first down. 
Well, last year they, they got off to a great start. They were 4-0. and They were ranked as high as number seven in the Louisiana Sports Writers Association poll. But they didn't handle success very well. And there were injuries there. And they ended up going five and six. Well, Coach Beard does a really great job in building programs. I mean, we saw him do that at Woodlawn, and obviously Live Oak was attracted to that and named him the head coach. But I get the sense now, Jeff, and, and maybe that's what Coach Beard was also sensing, is that they're really looking for this Live Oak team to eventually turn the corner and, and take it to that next level of a team that can can, can get into the state championship hunt or run. And, and, and that's what's been missing from this program. Rose Beard drops back downfield. Bobbling it, I don't think he, touchdown! I didn't think he got it, but he did. That's Byron Smith on the touchdown, his second of the season. We'll have to look at the replay again, but that's a 24-yard touchdown pass play between Rosevere and Byron Smith. Well, Rosevere definitely threw this ball a lot better, a lot cleaner to Smith. Gave him a chance to make a play. Looked like he bobbled it, but I'm not sure that the ball ever hit the ground. On Did the he way get down, his foot uh, in bounds yeah. with control? That's where it's close. That right there. is very tough to tell. Right, right there at the end, but a good throw here, giving this guy Smith a chance to make the play, and that's great camera work, and I, I think he's got that. That's that, unbelievable yeah. camera work. Look at our guys showing out here yeah. tonight. <laughs> that, is, that is unbelievable. Hey, look, he said replays in the uh, re re reviews in the state championship. If we had that now, we'd be able to confirm <laughs> it with that kind of with that kind of camera work. That so. was really good, gentlemen. Nicely done, and that was a catch. I, I think he had it. I mean, it was it wasn't long that he had possession by no. the time his behind hit the ground. But what a job by Byron Smith with the touchdown, and with 118 left to go in the third, Live Oak leading Westfell 26 to nothing. And also give credit to the referee there for making a good call, and that was the right call. Yeah, good job by the official too. That was. I, I feel a shit, a bad that I doubted that that was a touchdown at first. <laughs> well, it's tough from this vantage point, Jeff. <laughs> we need that great camera work. Here it is again. There you go. I'll let you make the call this time, Jeff. I, I think he's is. I think he's got I, it. I think he's got it. Yeah. I think he's got it. I don't think there would be enough to overturn it. Let's put it that way. Rosevere, a good second half. Three of four for 53 yards and a touchdown. He's also had a 20-yard run. That kick ends up in the end zone. And can Westfell get anything going here offensively? It's been a tough night offensively for West Feliciana. They just have not been able to get anything going. Ball has been on the ground way too much tonight for the Saints. There's one example of it, but that's the only turnover they've had tonight. Here on a kickoff return, Robert Smith does not hang on to it. Gets it knocked away. Once again on the ground, Rosevere collects it. And then you have a block punt into the back of the end zone. Outstanding job there by Brett McCoy. Bennett Clement. Pressure coming from the backside. He goes down. Another sack for this live Oak defense as they turn it up now. Yeah, and that time just didn't pick up Seth Cannon and just coming right there off the edge. Never saw him, and Clement really never had an opportunity to get the football off. Kyle Kittle finished it off. Right there, you see Clement 15. Just a clean run at him and just forced him up into the pocket and, and really no shot at all at running that play. So we're winding down here in this third quarter. Less than a 30 seconds to go. And that will be the end of the third quarter. That's Live Oak led it 10 to nothing at halftime. They have extended that lead to a 26 nothing lead now over the Saints, who are in jeopardy of falling to 0 and 3 on the season. But Live Oak doing everything here tonight offense, defense, special teams. And they lead it as we go into the fourth quarter.
Premier Concrete, a good Livingston Parish business for almost 20 years, filled and donated over 11,000 sandbags to the parish in July during Hurricane Barry. Now, Gary Talbert is engaged in a scheme of negative political attacks against this business. Gary Talbert, not good for Livingston Parish. Paid for by Premier Concrete Products. We're here at Podna's Barbecue, Louisiana's best barbecue. I've got the owner, Gerald Hopper, and you've got mouth-watering, fall-off-the-bone ribs. Well, they're slow cooked, I can tell you that. We smoke them every day. If we're out of ribs, it's because uh, the firewood was wet and we didn't have time to finish them off. Tim McGraw said you got the best baked beans in the world. And Tim McGraw was right. Partners Barbecue, Louisiana's best barbecue. Stop by today for some of those slow cooked ribs. Born at Don Moore and Sherwood Forest at I 12. Hi, we are live with the PPTV Network, where one of the top athletes is about to make his important decision. We know his character, and nothing will hold him back. I'm glad to have my family and friends here for this choice. It's more than my career, it will affect the rest of my life. I choose peak performance physical therapy. The decision is in. Why choose peak? Their reputation and their regular success is unmatched. When it matters most, another patient chooses peak performance physical therapy. Premier Concrete, a good Livingston Parish business for almost 20 years, filled and donated over 11,000 sandbags to the parish in July during Hurricane Barry. Now, Gary Talbert is engaged in a scheme of negative political attacks against this business. Gary Talbert, not good for Livingston Parish. Paid for by Premier Concrete Products. We begin the fourth quarter from West, Fe West Feliciana High School. Jeff Palermo, Jason DeQuare, Kate Adams on second and long. Westfell completes a six yard pass. Bennett Clement to Robert Smith as it's been a long night here for this Westfell team as Robert Smith, a former running back. He's been a three year starter. Coach Odom believes he's talented enough to play at the next level. Yeah, he's shown flashes of that. I mean, it's been a tough night for him, but you know, I've seen flashes where he gets the ball in his hands and can make people miss. and and pick up some good yardage. Almost intercepted, it was caught for a first down there. That would have been a pick six, a rare first down tonight as Aiden Holland catches that pass. Well, I'll tell you what, it was close, but Clement kind of shows his arm off here. And I mean, he just, he fires a dart over here to Holland. Watch this ball, got a lot of zip on it. And man, he needed all of that zip to ensure that ball wasn't picked off. Three yard pass play. Oh, the. Never mind. First and 10 at the 32 yard line. Live Oaks bringing the pressure. Clement steps up, goes down again. Three Live Oak Eagle defenders converge on him. And another sack for Live Oak. And see, that's where Clement's got to understand the situation, too. They bring the backers. He escapes that first wave. And when he steps up initially, that's where he's got to let the football go because that second wave is going to be on top of you. You're not going to get past all of that. And just need to let it go. Let it out your hands. This Live Oak defense is legit. In week one in the 35-14 win over Ponchatoula, they held T.J. Finley, the quarterback, of the Green Wave is committed to LSU to just 121 yards passing. I mean, last week against Woodlawn, what they did there, holding the Panthers to negative yard rushing, minus 15 yards rushing Woodlawn had on the night. I mean, this this isn't a, this isn't a fluke. These guys are really good. Pass and traffic incomplete. Yeah, and it all again, it all starts up front. It starts up front with big Jalen Lee, and he commands so much attention that if you double team him, maybe he doesn't make the play, but it's gonna leave alleys for other the linebackers and others to get in there. And you know, if you're getting to the quarterback, you're getting pressure, then those defensive backs don't have to cover as long, and it just it all starts up front there for Live Oak. And they're playing hard for their defensive coordinator, Brian Smith, who was diagnosed with cancer in 2016. It has recently come back. He's undergoing red radiation. Uh, the colon cancer that he once had has uh, spread to his bones. But uh, he's still out there at practice, sometimes running around in a golf cart, leading these guys. And these players are playing really hard for him. Another lollipop pass down the near sidelines. and. 
incomplete. Yeah, again, that's just really good coverage. And Starian Ricard with the coverage there for Live Oak and running neck and neck there with Smith. But one of Brett Peard's best friends. I mean, the guy's been, you know, Live Oak too was hit hard by the flooding. A lot of these kids were a couple years ago, were not living in their homes. So it's been a. And it's a community. It's one of the fastest growing communities in the state. It wasn't just a long, it was a short time ago that these guys were, Live Oak was a 2A, 3A school, just like West Feliciana. This is a great punt here by Westfell's Aiden Holland. Picked up inside the 20. Ricard gets up to the 37 yard line before he is brought down by Caleb Johnson. 47 yard punt. For Aiden Holland. There is a flag on the far side of the field. And it's against Live Oak. As I mentioned, Live Oak next week will be uh, taking on Kentwood. I got a chance to beat the Kangaroos. They play Averson Sci Academy after that. A good chance here, Jason. It'll be 5 0 heading into district play and a big game against Zachary. Here's our game next week the Denham Springs Yellow Jackets, a rival, district rival for Live Oak, parish rival. We'll be hosting the Assumption Mustangs. Look forward to seeing Coach Bill Kennedy's team, Luke Lunsford. The quarterback for Denham Springs, he performed well last year when we saw them play Central. And Assumption's got a good team. That's should be a really good matchup at Denham Springs. Hey, you talk about district play for Live Oak. It's hard just to win the Livingston Parish Championship. Yes. You know, you got Walker out there and Mahaffey out there, and you got Denham Springs and Live Oak, and they all play good football. Live Oak's got some of their backups in the football game now, as that was a pitch to a running back that we're seeing here for the first time. This is Jordan Watson. Jordan Watson on the carry. As he gets about five, a junior, 64 yards rushing on the season. 820 left to go in this football game. Game six, second down, four. Not much happening on that carry. Clarence Emery in on another stop. Seven thirty and counting. Clarence Emery. Good look at him, of course. West Feliciana benefited from having the Ferguson brothers here, Jazz and Jalen. Jazz was a, there's a good run here by Rosevere. Let's see if there's a holding penalty. Yeah. <laughs> no hold, holding penalty this time on the first down run for Rosevere, but West Feliciana had Jalen Ferguson who ended up becoming the all time sack leader in NCAA football history. He beat Terrell Suggs record over at where Ferguson just wrapped up at Louisiana Tech. And then Jazz Ferguson, who started his college career at LSU, ended it at Northwestern State, one of the top players in the Southland, who was just cut by the Seattle Seahawks. A reason why the Saints need to beat Seattle on Sunday. Yeah. <laughs> We're going to need a lot of help. That's going to be... That's going to be a tough one on the road without Mr. Breeze. No, no, it's going to be very weird to see a, a real game without number nine out there when the Saints take the field. But injuries, part of the game, as we all know. Yeah, and they're tougher when you're 40. Yeah, yeah. Coach Brett Beard and his club go 3-0. and What's that play mean, John? I don't know. I'm not sure. 
<laughs> it's been a while. Street, been a while yeah. since I've watched Sesame, Sesame Street. Street. You're yeah. the one with the young kids, huh? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you can dissect that a little bit better. That than play me. was garbage. <laughs> How about that? <laughs> All right. Hydration timeout with six minutes to go here. And as Live Oak on its way to a three and zero start, as they lead the West Feliciana Saints twenty six to nothing. Tonight's game time play of the game is brought to you by Podna's Barbecue. Slow cooked, fall off the bone perfection, and the best baked beans in America. I'm Brett Favre. As a quarterback in the NFL, if I didn't stay focused, I ended up on my back or worse. Even the smallest distraction could make a good play or offensive drive come to an end. When you're in a car, the smallest distraction could end much more than a drive. It could end someone's life. Just like I refuse to lose on the field, I refuse to lose someone I love to distract the driver. And you should too. Focus on the road. Don't drive distracted. A message from Farm Bureau Insurance. Tonight's Game Time League standings are brought to you by Visit Baton Rouge. It's not just the capital city, it's the hub of all things Louisiana. Find out more about all the Red Stick has to offer at visitbatonrouge.com. Second down, 11 after the timeout. 26 to nothing, Live Oak leading West Feliciana. Second down and 12, Jeff Palermo, Jason DeQueer, and Kate Adams down on the field. Handoff again. Only a few yards on the carry. And let's send it down to Kate Adams with this special report. Well, thanks, Jeff. It's always important to appreciate those who serve our country. Actually, right now, one of the Live Oak Eagles, number 48, Jordan Griffin. His father is currently serving in the Middle East. Look, his father is a huge fan of his son, of course, but also a really big fan of the Live Oak Eagles, so much so that he actually flies an Eagles flag on the flagstaff in the Middle East. Right here is a picture of him flying that flag. But look, when Coach Beard called his wife to ask to get some of those pictures, she was so emotional. She started crying. Coach Beard said it was absolutely awesome. And to have someone like that to serve our country is definitely incredible. So thank you so much to call Carl Griffin for all of your service. Back to you guys. Thanks a lot, Kate. Great story there. And yes, we uh, also appreciate what Carl Griffin is doing in the Middle East, protecting our country. Yeah, and, you know, that's tough. I mean, not being able to come and see his son play uh, live here, but, uh, you know, uh, the commitment he has to the country and, you know, the sacrifice that he's making, we're all appreciative. On the punt, as we're under four minutes or so to go in this game. And this one will go down at the 15-yard line. Next week, West Feliciana will take on Baker as they will begin district play. And the Buffs, they are legit yeah. under Coach Eric Randall. And uh, they have been playing some good football. Also, there'll be uh, West Fells got Brulee at uh, Parkview Baptist. Tough way to finish the season for West Fell at U High. Hosting Madison Prep. When we talked to Coach Odom earlier this week, he said, all we got to do is we just want to get in the playoffs, and then anything can happen. Yeah. And they got off to a slow start last season, and they got into the playoffs. But the emergence of a team like Baker, and you got Madison Prep in your district. U High, of course, is a monster. I think Parkview Baptists under Coach Stephen LaFours will eventually get it going. So, oh, drop pass there by Robert Smith. Well, the first thing you got to do is get healthy. You, know, yeah. you got to get all your guys back. You know, you can't even really gel as a team when you have guys missing practice and coming, you know, limping back in the games. I mean, you need to try to do everything you can. That way, when you start district play, you got as many guys healthy so that you can get good practices in and start start putting the pieces together. Yeah, one of the players we profiled as our key players, Nino LeMay, got hurt in the first quarter, and right now he's on the sidelines, doesn't even have his shoulder pads on. That's not a good sign. That tells you he may be out a little bit. 
Well, and with this not being a district game, too, you know, they're probably taking the conservative approach and, you know, just shutting it down until they have a better chance to look at him. Another loose ball on the field as the pitch was way behind the ball carrier in Live Oak, I think, has jumped on this thing, and they have. So, Bennett Clement coughs it up again on the pitch, and Seth Cannon shot back there and got the fumble. Yeah, just too much. Again, you know, Live Oak, uh, you know, all the pieces that they have and are healthy and player after player they can bring at you. And right now, the Saints just are not functioning well on offense. You see the bad pitch there. And then the recovery here, just getting to the football. It just started to unravel here in the second half. They they hung tough in the first half, Jeff. They hung as tough as they could. Offense isn't, didn't give them a whole bunch, but defensively, I thought they hung tough. But at the end, I think they just got worn down. Live Oak in the premier concrete red zone. Hard run to the three-yard line. He's getting a chance to carry the football once again for Live Oak, Jordan Watson. Jordan Watson and Trenton O'Quinn, the reserve running backs behind Key Hawkins and Hagen Long. And Coach Beard says those are just steady guys that are nice backups behind Hawkins and Hagen Long. 220 and counting. Another run in between the tackles, getting a little closer to that goal line. Well, the big news yesterday, Jason, was, of course, the announcement that the Louisiana select schools will not be playing at the Superdome for their state championships. We'll see how that all works out, but it looks like the select schools will be playing either at UL Lafayette, Southeastern, Yulman Stadium. They'll have it the weekend before the Prep Classic, so the Prep Classic now back down to two days, I would think. Friday and Saturday at the Superdome for the public schools, but hopefully that whole situation gets itself sorted out next year. We'll see. Flag, no, there was not a flag as they run up again and West Feliciana stops them from getting into the end zone. Yeah, I think after he, you see all of that take place this year, and you know, I think both sides will realize this doesn't represent Louisiana high school football at its finest. And 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 and, and I really hope that uh, you know the two sides can can work together and, and and get this get get football back in Louisiana the way that it used to be. And uh, uh, it's, it's just an unfortunate situation, but but we'll see. That's what we'll deal with this year, and we'll yeah. work through it. Well, you know I like cold weather games, Jason. Yeah. So, <laughs> yeah. a little, some, a little yeah. football on a, yeah. on a frosty Cajun there field you and, go, man. in early there December. You go. Yeah, we we didn't start do the jamboree in the prep, but we will most certainly do. <laughs> I have right done a, I have done a game in the snow at, at Cajun Field. Oh man! Uh, when Rummel beat Westgate in the semifinals, they played. They, they knew the weather was going to be bad, and Westgate played the game at. Cajun Field, and we, that was a snow day. There was snow. I, I was lucky I got across the basin. To be honest. Yeah. With you. Yeah, but you were in the press box, though, so Jeff. <laughs> oh, it was cold, man. It was cold. <laughs> Delay a game there for Live Oak. Uh, yeah. As you know, when we set up our broadcast at Cajun Field, we are not in the press box. Mm -hmm. So it was. Uh, I got to be honest with you, Jason. I was cold that night. Really. <laughs> The Chicago native was cold. That was a wet. Oh, man. That was one of those wet, cold nights. How long ago was this? Uh, so uh, when Rubble, that was their first state championship. So um, man, that might have been ten years ago. No, oh, yeah, yeah. See, I would have had a couple of heaters out yeah, there. Yeah. You know, we were at the Episcopal game, and I had, I had <laughs> portable, <laughs> portable heaters on top of the press box. Had a little mishap too. We won't go <laughs> yeah. into that. <laughs> Almost lost attention to Jason. <laughs> Here's Landon Ratcliffe to try the 24 yard field goal. Yeah. And that is good. And Live Oak adds to its lead. Eagles 3 0 on the season as they'll pitch a shutout here, most likely against West Feliciana. We'll be back after this. 
Hey, Joe Martin here. You've seen our commercials over the years and you may be wondering, what's in it for me? Well, ITI Technical College has been selected by Forbes Magazine as a top 32 year college. But even more than that, the reason we do this is you. Our tagline is for a better life. And we mean that for you to be able to have the life you've always dreamed about, to do the things for your family you've always dreamed about. And it can begin here where we are dedicated to your success because here at ITI, the reason we do it is you. Here in Louisiana, we play to win every single game. Under John Bell Edwards, our economy ranks dead last in America. Eddie Rasponi will win back lost jobs, reverse the Edwards tax hikes, and blitz trial lawyer control and corruption. Louisiana shouldn't settle for last place in anything. I'm Eddie Rasponi. First is where we belong. It's time to lead the South in football and in jobs. Eddie Rasponi for governor. Tonight's game time play of the game is brought to you by Louisiana Farm Bureau Insurance. Ready to serve you with auto insurance, homeowners insurance, life insurance, and more. Real service, real people. And that's the ball game as uh, we did not have a working clock here tonight. So I think they just decided after that field goal went through, there was only a few seconds left anyways. It's time to uh, go home and Coach Odom's team uh, got a lot of soul searching here as they fall to 0-3, losing to a really good Live Oak team. And again, Jason, I think I've said this a couple times during the broadcast, uh, this, this appears to be one of the better Live Oak teams we've seen. They've had a team go to the semifinal, or excuse me, the quarterfinals of the 5A playoffs. Remember, they, they, they ran into Michael Divinity and John Errett that yeah. night. Yep. But this team, I think, might be better than that club. Well, they play good defense, and obviously now they have an offense to complement it. Let's go down to the field and Kate Adams. Jeff, well, Coach Beard, congratulations on the win tonight. Your Eagles go to 3-0 and for the 2019 regular season. At the half, you told me you needed to see some more energy from your team. Did you finally get to see some? Yeah, I was really pleased with the, uh, the effort, the, uh, the execution. You, you know, you could tell by our body language that second half, we, we played more like we, were, like, like we need to play. Uh, I was really excited the way they finished up the game. You know, we got to start faster, but we finished strong. Great energy. Love the way we battled. Uh, we just got to keep getting better every week. Well, you can always get better every week, but one of your keys to the game was win at the line of scrimmage. Do you feel like your team did that tonight? I thought we definitely did that defensively. Offensively, I thought we did that in the second half. Uh, we just got to start faster. We got to start faster. Uh, we'll, we'll, cl we'll clean it up as coaches and uh, keep getting better. Coach, well, we've got a special guest with us right here on the sideline. Please tell me what this gentleman's name is. This is Brandon. the real head coach. Yeah. Tell him your name. Brandon Watson. Brandon Watson, well, it's so nice to have you down here. Do you help coach this Eagles team? Yes, ma'am. Well, that is awesome. Look, I want to present the both of you two with this awesome cooler from Farm Bureau. So thank you so much to Farm Bureau. This is what we give our winning team each game every week. So congratulations again on the win tonight, and good luck the rest of the season. Thank you all for everything. Thanks. Great, job. Great job. Thank you, guys. Back to you. Thank you, Brett Beard. And how about this statistic? They don't negative 22 yards rushing for West Feliciana. For, so for the season now, Live Oak, Negative 53 yards that allowed. Amazing. That I, is amazing. The word allowed doesn't work. <laughs> yeah, I don't know how yeah, else yeah. to describe that. But yeah. negative 53 yeah. yards through three games. Yeah. That's unbelievable. <laughs> That's more than some teams have rushed for <laughs> this season. So, yeah. yeah. All right. Let's take a look at our play of the game here. And I'm sure it's involving somebody in that white jersey for the Live Oak Eagles. And Rosevere, nice job tonight. And how about this pass? Why not? And a great catch in the back of the end zone. And he did hang on to it. Byron Smith, his second touchdown catch of the season. Fourth touchdown pass for Rosevere. And that caps off a really good night for this Live Oak team. A nice job by the official. He got that call right. As Smith somehow contained that ball just in time before he hit the ground. We'll take a break. When we come back, we'll tell you who our player of the game is and look at the final stats and highlights. 29 to nothing victory for Live Oak. Tonight's game time player of the game is brought to you by Peak Performance. At Peak Performance Physical Therapy, we treat the athlete and everyone stronger, faster, better. Choose Peak. Check out the stories behind the games. Visit yourview.com slash Louisiana. I'm Brett Favre. As a quarterback in the NFL, 
If I didn't stay focused, I ended up on my back or worse. Even the smallest distraction could make a good play or offensive drive come to an end. When you're in a car, the smallest distraction could end much more than a drive. It could end someone's life. Just like I refuse to lose on the field, I refuse to lose someone I love to distract and driving. And you should too. Focus on the road. Don't drive distracted. A message from Farm Bureau Insurance. Hi, we are live with the PPTV Network, where one of the top athletes is about to make his important decision. We know his character, and nothing will hold him back. I'm glad to have my family and friends here for this choice. It's more than my career. It will affect the rest of my life. I choose peak performance physical therapy. The decision is in. Why choose peak? The reputation and their regular success is unmatched. When it matters most, another patient chooses peak performance physical therapy. Hey, Joe Martin here. You've seen our commercials over the years and you may be wondering, what's in it for me? Well, ITI Technical College has been selected by Forbes Magazine as a top 32 year college. But even more than that, the reason we do this is you. Our tagline is for a better life. And we mean that for you to be able to have the life you've always dreamed about, to do the things for your family you've always dreamed about. And it can begin here where we are dedicated to your success because here at ITI, the reason we do it is you. You're watching Game Time on Your View. For more in-depth coverage of the top players around, recruiting updates, behind the scenes access and more, check out yourview.com. Well, we already counted that one. We're back here at West Feliciana High School as uh, Live Oak wins here tonight to improve the 3-0 and over the Saints. Big victory for Coach Brett Beard's team, for uh, Coach Rob Odom and the Saints. And back to the drawing board, get some ice on some of these injuries and hope that they can get it going once district play starts. Uh, Live Oak is still a couple of weeks away from the start of district play. But one of the things about this Live Oak team that was special here tonight was their player of the game, sophomore wide receiver C.J. Davis. And he brings some, some speed, the ability to make some plays in space. And Live Oak has not had this kind of player on their teams with Brett Beard at the helm. Yeah, and this is really going to complement this Live Oak team, particularly as well as the defense is playing. You can see him getting the ball in space a couple of times a night and really making things happen. That's going to be, a, he's a difference maker for this Live Oak offense. Two catches for 38 yards. He also had a rush for 27 yards. He's just a sophomore. And this Live Oak team, led by some good seniors and Hagen Long and Key Hawkins and Rhett Rosevere. Really good defensive effort here tonight. Just a solid performance against a West Feliciana team that's a little undermanned, a little banged up at the moment, and searching for some confidence, and Live Oak took it to them. Yeah, and Coach Beard said, as you mentioned in our, in our conference call, that last year they started 4-5-0, and and, oh, and then they got complacent. I think he's going to protect against yeah. that this year, and his team is gelling like he's not seen another team in the past gel together. So this team could go pretty deep, I think, Jeff, in, in, in the playoffs. Let's take a look at our highlights from this one, and it will be dominated by the play of the Live Oak Eagles, and this was a problem all night long for the Saints. The ball on the ground, one of two turnovers for Westfell. Getting into the end zone here, Rhett Rosevere, the touchdown. That would make it seven to nothing early in the second quarter. Here's some more of C.J. Davis. What a nice move. Gets downfield. That would set up a field, goal. a field goal that would make it 10 to nothing as Cole Crenshaw making his second field goal of the season. Third quarter block punt out of the end zone. Unblocked was Brett McCoy. It's 12 to nothing live. Oh, and then here's Key Hawkins into the end zone for the fifth time this season. Brett Rosevere winding up, going downfield. Byron Smith somehow gets it and a foot in bounds. There's a look at the stats. Negative 22 yards rushing, just 11 total yards of offense for the Saints. While West Philly, for, while Live Oak, uh, 147 on the ground, 232 total yards. So 
Live Oaks got an interesting matchup next week against Kentwood, while Westfell will begin district play against Baker. And we got a good game next week as well, Assumption and Denham Springs. So we're starting to get into the meat yeah. of the high school football schedule now, Jason. Yeah, and I think it's going to be exciting. We're starting to see how these teams are developing and how they're going to, you know, start looking as we approach midseason form. And I think we got an exciting schedule and lineup yet to come. Live Oak only received two votes in the latest Louisiana Sports Writers Association poll. They may pick up a few more after this one because that's a pretty good Live Oak team that we saw here tonight. That will do it for our broadcast here from St. Francisville. Always love it when we're up here in the hills and watching some great high school football. Wasn't the night that Westfell was hoping for. Next week, we'll be in Livingston Parish to check out the Denham Springs Yellow Jackets and the Assumption Mustangs in a non-district matchup. I want to thank everyone involved in our broadcast. Eric Coleman, the executive producer of Game Time. For Kate Adams, Jason DeQuare, I'm Jeff Palermo. Thanks for watching. Game Time on Your View was brought to you by Louisiana Farm Bureau Insurance. Ready to serve you with auto, homeowners, life insurance, and more. Real service, real people. Visit Baton Rouge. Find out more about all the Red Stick has to offer at visitbatonrouge.com. ITI Technical College, your key to a better life. And by Peak Performance. At Peak Performance Physical Therapy, we treat the athlete and everyone stronger, faster, better.